Hello, everyone. It is time for our stream. Uh, for those wondering, uh, Splinter asked, is today Chain Echoes or Fatal Frame 2? Today is Fatal Frame 2. Um, we, I, I had to edit a few things uh, to get the stream up and running, so the, the uh, notifications might have been delayed a little bit. But we should be good to start now. So let me just go through, get this set up. There we go. This. Uh, sorry, the game capture is being a little bit weird. We can get this fixed real quick. Let's see. Game capture. I should fix that. There we go. <laughs> it wasn't letting me move it around. And don't worry, I'll, I'll get the audio in in a second as well. This is just the trailer that plays before the game starts. Alrighty, uh, things will be set up in just a moment. Give me one more second to get this all good. <laughs> I was trying to do this beforehand, but uh, clearly did not get that finished. Uh, all right. Twin sisters were sacrificed. Alrighty. We should be able to hear everything now. Things should be good. Oop. Uh, let me go to options, turn down the volume quite a bit so that it doesn't blow down my ears every single time I go to play the game. Okay, this should be better. <laughs> Sorry about that. settings you want uh, 3D, that's tank controls. So this game has traditional tank controls, unlike uh, Fatal Frame 1, uh, no longer am I driving the character, there are actual full-on controls for it. I think we're ready to start, so let's go ahead and go. Uh, we will be. Oops. There we go. We should be playing uh, the undubbed version, so let me know if there are any issues with that.
All right, is everyone sufficiently spooked yet? All right, so we are playing the Fatal Frame 2 Japanese undub. This means that uh, cutscene dialogue will have uh, subtitles, but regular dialogue will not. Uh, I will translate as necessary if there is anything relevant said outside of cutscenes. <coughs> Now, I don't actually think there is any dialogue spoken outside of cutscenes that I would need to translate. You'll hear uh, Mio here say Onechan a bunch. That just means big sister. Uh, she's referring to Mayu, her sister who just ran into the woods. Very spooky. We actually know a little bit so far about the sisters uh, and their, I guess, childhoods. Obviously, one of them got hurt as a child when they were playing in the woods. We saw that earlier. Uh, there's also the mention that they used to play in these woods, but now the woods will also be gone soon. So there's some sort of construction project happening. There don't seem to be any people in the village. Interesting. Oh, okay, so this this did have uh, some subtitles. So, important dialogue is subtitled. Looks like we'll be fine. There seem to be many statues just like this one throughout the village. Interesting. So, one of the gimmicks of this game is that the older sister, Mayu, can't run as fast. So, you can leave her behind by accident. And it's not necessarily an escort mission, so to speak. But it uh, she can get hurt. So you need to be careful. The rope bridges boards are old. It'd probably be dangerous to cross it without a light. You should probably find another path. Oh, a cemetery. Interesting. Oop. Controller vibrates when you bump into your sister. So this game got a remake on the Wii. Uh, this game got a remake on the Wii in, I want to say, like 2006 or, no, it would, it would have been like 2008. Uh, I never played that version, but I have played a little bit of uh, this game. Uh, I owned it on PS2, but uh, as a child, it scared me a lot, so I never <laughs> made much progress into it.
I would take it to my friend's house and play it on their PS2. There's something on the ground. Black bag. There are several pieces of paper and a photo inside. A news clipping from a year ago. The headline reads, Geological Surveyor Missing. The start of the construction for All God's Dam Approaching, Masumi Makimura, 26, a geological surveyor dispatched to the area, has gone missing. Mr. Makimura went to the area to investigate the site that would be submerged once the dam was built, but hasn't been heard from for five days. The search for Masumi Makimura, the surveyor missing since the 4th of this month, came to a close yesterday. Mr. Makimura had been helping to conduct a geological survey for All God's Dam. As of yesterday, he has been missing for 10 days. A photo of a man and a woman are attached to the news clipping. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Uh, as Apollo says, big Higurashi energy. Yeah, that's exactly what I was just thinking, is that it's, it starts off very much like Higurashi. Ah, that's a lady. Is that the woman from the photo? Certainly looked like it. Oh, spooky. Oh no, my big fat head was in the way. <laughs> All righty. This game starts off like swinging hard. <laughs> it, it's really front loaded with some of the horror. Oh, wow. That's gonna get demonetized. <laughs> I dig this. Uh, this game already goes like way harder than the first game, right? Like, <laughs> I think that it's doing some cool things, right? So like, normally it's not the big sister that's the psychic one. It's like the it's like the quiet, soft-spoken younger sister who's like more pure. But it's actually in this game, it's like the bigger sister is the weaker one who who's you know has like an injury or whatever. And she's the one that's being affected, and we're just kind of along for the ride, which is cool. It also just starts way scarier. The production value so far is, like, immediately higher, which is cool. A page torn from a notebook is near the sunken fireplace. I've heard rumors about the lost village before. Long ago, a massacre occurred on the day of the ceremony, and the village was wiped from the map. Twin deity statues in the forest led lost people to the village entrance. 
Once you pass through the gate, however, you cannot go back. The village eternally relives that night of death. The insane laughter of a woman is said to echo throughout the village. The only survivor of the massacre at this village was a lone woman. Interesting. Um, that's an ominous door. We'll wait. Go anyway. Okay. Do I have a map yet? I do. Osaka House. Oh, spooky. Ah. <laughs> Something is reflecting in the light. When used from the item screen, a small amount of strength is recovered. We got our beloved herbal medicine. We need to be real careful about using it, though. Unlike last time. Oh, no. There's a body there. Someone, anyone, whoever sees this, look for me. I'm trapped in this village. Help me. Pseudo Miyako. Ah. Though she just said something's in the bed. Futon. Literally just bed. There's some old bedding spread out on the floor. There's a lump in it, as if there's something inside. You don't need to look at it. It's a hanging painting here, but it's so faded you can't even see the color of the flowers. Sliding door of the closet won't open anymore. Maybe it's warped? I mean, it looks like it's in pretty bad disrepair. All right, before we go upstairs, let's investigate the other room on the floor. Oh, I thought that was blocking my way. <laughs> I was confused. Ooh. Woman's Notebook 2. Sometimes I sense someone passing by the window. He carries a torch and mutters things. He seems to be searching for somebody, but it's not Masumi. In the distance, I can hear some kind of sad ceremonial song being sung. They say that this village vanished on the day of the ceremony, and that day is repeated over and over again. What's this? Can I interact? Oh, the game can be saved here. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right, we got it. Apollo says, maybe I'll get some fatal frames this time. Uh, allegedly, camera combat is much better in this game. We got sacred water. All right, nice. Doesn't seem to be anything in the urn. Cool. Some old kimonos. They all look like women's kimonos. Unexpected. I thought this murder village that's haunted by the ghost of a woman would only have men's clothing in it. All right, let's go upstairs. Let's see what there is to do. It's locked. There's a padlock engraved with a family crest representing ginger on the door. I wish I had the skill to just like identify <laughs> obscure Japanese family crests just by looking at them. A lot of them are like completely abstract, really hard to tell what they're supposed to mean. Ooh, do you see that? Look at that. Look at those cloth physics. The PS2 game. Fancy. Wait, wasn't it just here? Oh, yeah, I guess so it just loops down. And around. Sorry, Mayu. Is that a place we can go? Nope, just a broken panel on the wall. Whoa! Whew. Got me a little bit.
Voice acting in this game is really good so far. Woman's Notebook 3. Masumi, it's me, Miyako. I came to look for you. Let's go home together. Together, we can make it. Call for me if you find this. I'll be nearby. Cold, damp wind is blowing in from the atrium. There are lanterns at the back of the garden. They're lit. Who lit the lanterns? Come on. Oh. Am I in the right place? Unclear. Yeah, I can't leave, so I guess I'll just have to walk back out. Unless there's something here I missed? I don't think so, though. Wait, didn't sister die? I don't think so. Oh. Yeah. Uh, no, she didn't die. She's with us the whole time. I thought she was ghost. Nope, she just hurt her leg as a child. Like, she fell down a ravine, and, and now she has a limp. The door is slightly ajar. I'm going to be attacked, and I don't even have a camera yet. There's a flashlight on the table. Oh, nice. Seems like the batteries are still good. Someone must have left it here. Camera obscura pointers. This camera was made by Dr. Aso to take photographs of beings in the spiritual plane that normally cannot be seen. It can reveal events from the past through the lingering thoughts of individuals. It is also able to photograph spiritual beings that are invisible to the human eye. Taking a photo of an unseen being has an exorcismal effect, but simultaneously creates a sort of link with them. If the camera obscura is used carelessly, these beings may even gain the upper hand on the user. I wonder if I can photograph the site at the heart of this village's forbidden ritual. If Dr. Aso were here, I'm sure he would be excited. Seijiro Makabe. Seems much older than the flashlight. It seems like it's originally from this house. So interesting, the camera in this game has different lore than it did in the first game. Maybe there are different ones? I couldn't exactly hear what was being said. It was like really garbled. Yeah, I don't I don't think the sister's dead. I mean and, and not as far as the game is told us. So far this game seems more like a reboot than like a sequel, <clears throat> which I mean, go figure, but it doesn't even look like the camera obscura. Spooked. Oh, I have the camera now. Camera Obscura is a special camera that allows you to exercise spirits by taking photographs of them. When you face a direction where a spirit is, the filament at the bottom right of the screen or top of the viewfinder will glow. Located the spirit, raise the camera with the circle button. When you found a spirit, 
press X or right one. So same controls as the first game. Oh my god, she startled me. <laughs> Alright, so we have health now, which means enemies can do damage to us. There's something on the floor. Herbal medicine. Perfect. Uh, let's continue exploring this room really quickly before we leave. And exit through that door because it's all broken. So, Alright, I guess it's time to go out this door and be spooked by a ghost. Oh no. That's what she said. The presence you were feeling in front of the door is gone now. It is said you can capture things that ordinary people can't see with this camera. Could this be the power of the camera obscura? All right, so we're in business now. Ready, sister? Let's go. I like their fashion. I like their their like dresses, skirt, t-shirt things. It's like a good white and black outfit. I like it. They're matching, but like slightly different. Neo, wait a second. So the filament isn't going off, so there aren't any ghosts to actually take pictures of around. Let's see. What about in here? We should probably save the game. Good, we got that going. Alright, nothing new in there. I guess we'll just probably have to leave this house. So the cool thing about this game is that rather than exploring just a single estate, we uh, explore the whole village. That's one of the things I remember. So we have that to look forward to. If you want to call it that, looking forward to it. <laughs> Oh, great. The door is held shut. Took a picture of it, didn't I? Ah, I see. We know where that is. Oh, this game is quick turn. How convenient. I will remember that. Perfect. in here, right? I think it was. Incorrect. It was in the other room. 
Of course it was. <clears throat> <laughs> Apollo says, please analyze the socioeconomic implications of those outfits in a ghost world. Uh, the, the girls are clearly private school students because they get to wear fancy clothing. They're, they're probably really bougie family because these are super uh, European-inspired clothes. Oh, I can still move forward while... Uh in photo camera mode. Perfect. Oh, wow. Is that Masumi? The journalist? It looks like. Interesting. He went and did a murder. Oh! That's like a high quality ghost model too, comparative to what we had in the first game where they were like really, <laughs> really wonky looking. It's kind of incredible how fast graphics uh, increased in parity during this time period. Like I'm pretty sure the games were only released a year or two apart uh, and Fatal Frame 2 looks this much better than Fatal Frame 1. Uh, and, you know, same hardware and everything. There was no major graphical, you know, power change. It was just people getting better at what they did. Uh, something that's wild is that, like, technically, this game is only, like, three or four years older than the first Silent Hill game. Like, think about that. <laughs> it's pretty nuts. Kimonos are spilling out of the large chest. There isn't anything else inside. Looks like an atrium beyond the lattice. You can see a deck beyond the atrium. All right, we were there already. <laughs> Ghost be like, LOL. <laughs> Faded painting. What about this? lump inside the bedding as if something's there. So this room seems like a dead end again. I'm confused because this is where the ghost lady went, wasn't it? Is there anything in here for us? No? Huh. Or is it over here? I actually find this a little bit unnerving. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Apollo's favorite character, woman in kimono, is, is back. <laughs> ginger key. A crest with a ginger design is carved on the cover. Woo! Snap reflexes. The audio is much spookier. Yeah, it it really is. <laughs> it's much, much more unsettling. All right, let's use that key on the door. Very conveniently, now if your filament is lit up and you press the camera button, you auto-target the thing that is setting off the filament. Herbal medicine, heck yeah, six cents. I knew there was gonna be something there. Uh, so yeah, it's kinda, I don't know, it's super convenient. Uh, let's see, Apollo says, don't forget to translate what the spooky ghosts say, I need to be frightened. Uh, she has mostly been repeating the same lines over and over again, like, why would you do this to me? Uh, why, why am I here? Follow me. Come this way. Like, things like that. 
I'll, I'll translate them more directly when I hear them. Sometimes it's very hard for me to hear what's being said because even though the volume might be a little bit louder on stream, it's turned down a little bit in my headphones. So. How much time has passed since I came here? How long will this night last? I can't take the darkness. It's driving me crazy. I have to get out of here. I have to see Masumi. I must be tired. If I start to relax, I pass out. Even in a crazy place like this, the darkness here is creeping into my dreams. Slaughter, rivers of blood, fallen people, a woman in a blood-stained kimono, insane laughter, and twin sisters calling out, don't kill me. That woman's laugh is seared into my mind. I don't want to sleep anymore. Anything good back here? No? Move out of the way, big sister. Onechan. <laughs> I missed that one. Oh well. Woman's notebook eight. Masumi found my note. He was in the village. I can see him soon. I can't move. I'll wait here. He'll be back. He'll find the way out. If he comes back. He came. Huh. Good cutscene transition. You can exercise spirits by taking photographs of them with the camera obscura. The greater response indicated on the charge gauge in the capture circle, the greater damage you'll inflict on the spirit. So same exact thing. Where is she? Oh, there she is. This is tricky. Oh no, sister. This is so much smoother mechanically. All right. There she is. There we go. Man, ghosts are strong in this game. <laughs> Title drop. This is where the opening theme plays. <laughs> if it was an anime. <laughs> Oh, did we lose? We lost Mayu. Chapter 2, Twin Shrine Maidens. Araga Knight. Looks like a glowing blue crystal. That spirit must have dropped it. 
Once you find the spirit stone radio, you can use radio on the main menu to listen to stones. Oh, cool. Spirit orbs. <coughs> Spirit orbs are items used to raise the maximum levels of the camera's basic functions or power-up lenses. Use a spirit orb from the function upgrades in the camera menu to increase the maximum level of the camera function or power-up lens. After adding a spirit orb to one of the camera's basic functions or power-up lenses, you can raise its level by using the points you've accumulated through capturing spirits. Interesting. So spirit orbs are no longer an ammo type. <laughs> Kettle Chip says, didn't want to say it while she was here, but she kind of was dead weight. <laughs> Spirit stone radio. Choose radio from the menu in order to hear spirits. Radio pointers. Through the use of crystals in its circuits, the improved version of the crystal radio is able to tune into voices from the spirit world. If a person wears a crystal for a long enough time, their thoughts will remain, creating a special type of uh, crystal, a spirit stone. According to Dr. Osso, the radio can also pick up sounds from the spirit world, indicating feelings and intuitions in a similar manner to sympathetic phenomenon that occurs between twins. All right. Masami, where did you go? Oh, I didn't notice the subtitles. <laughs> did you hear that? In my headphones, I heard a spirit whispering to me. I'm going to exit the menu and there's going to be a woman ghost next to me. I'm stoked. All right, let's see. This game's so spooky. This is such a huge increase in quality from the first game, like right away. All right, camera. Uh... Huh. So apparently we need spirit orbs and points and, and and style points from our camera to upgrade, so we'll see. A book about the village was on the old bookshelf. The ceremony master, Mr. Kurosawa, gave me a very warm welcome. The village has no chief. The ceremony master presides over the village. I wonder if this village was founded by people who wanted to preserve their sacred rituals and festivals. Most notable among all God's folklore is the gate to hell legend that's been passed down for years. So this was a this was a factor in the first game as well, but I do not think it took place in the same village. It is an archetypal tale of a gate or hole that marks the border to the world of the dead, also called Hades, the underworld or the netherworld. Also hell, also uh what's the What's this? The the Norse version also hell. Uh, yeah, lots of other ones. It's kind of weird that they signaled out to Hades <laughs> like in a Japanese village here. They called it this in Greek. Uh, it is a forbidden place that is feared and hated, but it is also worshipped as well. The idea of hell has been a core belief of humans since ancient times. This village supports the theory that that belief is universal. Uh, it's a secret it says perfect game for night stream watching I agree the forbidden ritual regarding this gate to hell that takes place here is something no one is allowed to see or speak of this strict taboo is probably the result of a ceremony concerning the border with hell coming closer to the living world villagers led a simple life deep in the mountains they struggled to forage for food for their daily meals the village has little contact with the outside world. They continue to practice the ways of old, frozen in time. Interesting. This game already has, like, way more, like, note lore than the first game did. The first game's notes were all, like, the solution to the puzzle is 1347. Like, that was it. That was all we got. Whereas in this one, there's, like, a lot of just background information being given out. 
All right, nothing new in there. Ooh, dynamic camera work. Yapari uh, ikanakya. I need to go after all. That's what she said. Like, as it turns out, I must leave. It's calling me. <laughs> this is so much better than the prologue segment of the first game. <laughs> I'm going to be saying stuff like that for like the first four hours of the playthrough. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Red butterflies. Hmm. Correct. Akaicho. I should investigate the other rooms of this house. Uh, to pick up items that might have disappeared. Slow power up lens. Slows down the movement of a spirit. Spirit power required one upgrade extends duration. Temporary slows down the movement of the spirit being photographed. Oh, dope. Okay. The spirit will move slower and shutter chances will be longer, making the spirit easier to capture. Found some camera equipment and film. Acquired the measure equipped function. When this function is equipped, it shows the remaining HP of the closest spirit in the capture circle. Oh, neat. All right, so what do we do? We go, uh, ooh, type seven film. But that's the infinite film, I think. All right, we have an equipped function. Equip, slow. Oh no, I should have. Oh no, it is equipped, okay. Uh, let's do this. Uh, function power up, accumulation, max spirit power two. I need a spirit orb to upgrade. Okay, okay, I'm following now. <laughs> Apollo says, Toaster's actually enjoying the ghost photo art school portfolio game. I liked the first one, it just was really really a, a work in progress it was a it was a test a, a development test basically is how I feel about that first game shoot did I just miss a ghost there is there's something frozen woman Interesting. So that it doesn't seem like that gives me points Like it did in the first game Oh shoot Ghosts do significantly less damage in this game. Oh, but they stun me a little bit. Four shot. Okay, get some points. There we go. So using the cheap film is very not beneficial because it does almost no damage to anything. There we go. And it really relies on me getting fatal frames for it to matter. Nice. All right. Cool. There's another one. Ooh. 
how many of these dudes have it out for me? Oh no. It's gonna be a zero shot. so bad. Alright, there are no more ghosts in here. So ghosts don't seem to drop items, however, we do get upgrade points for them. Oh, 10,000! We have so many! Nice! There we go. Exorcismal power and range. Increases capsule circle size. We should upgrade this as well. It would be beneficial for us to do. But we already upgraded our first spirit orb, like, so quickly. That's not bad. Uh, I, I want to explore the rest of the house because I feel like items might have respawned. Because a bunch of stuff respawned in the other room. But let's just save first. See if there's anything in the save room for us. Herbal medicine. See, this is... Oh, shoot. That's not creepy at all. I can't even walk in this room when she's in her little animation. This is terrifying. <laughs> Look at how good this animation is, though. Oh, God, she moves quickly. Shutter chance there is, is tough. Ooh, look at that. That was cool. <laughs> oh, man. This game is so neat. Something shining on the floor. Moonstone. Oh, sick. We got a new radio and a spirit orb. All right. It might actually be worth it to walk around the house if I'm going to get another spirit orb doing stuff like this. Uh, um, <clears throat> I want to get things like range as quickly as possible. Oh, I don't have enough uh, points. That's fine. We'll listen to the radio uh, right before I go to save. The darkness. The darkness is coming. Ooh, so spooky. What a gift. Open, open up. Thank God, what's been said. She's just re she's repeating uh, the words about the darkness. Oh man. So yeah, I'm I'm digging this so much more than the first game already. This is such a huge step up. Granted, from what I understand about this series and people who, who really like this series, people tend to say 2, 3, and 4 are the best games in the series by a really significant margin. So, granted, I don't know um, how people rank them other than that this one is allegedly the best, but uh, I'm, I'm very impressed with it so far. Anything in here? Nope. 
Again, just want to be thorough, make sure I'm picking everything up. Ooh. Mortuary tablets and incense burners on the family altar are covered with dust. Is there nothing in here? Nope. No ghosts either. And just the fact that camera combat is already so much better is so sweet. Like, it's such a huge improvement. Ooh, an item. I'm gonna get grabbed by the ghoulies right here. Maybe they belong to the missing surveyors. For some reason, one of the statues is in the form of twins. I've also found a description of a twin deity statue in the writings lying around the house. I looked down into the old well, but it was pitch black and I couldn't see a thing. If you listen closely, you can only hear wind blowing and it seems that the water has all dried up. I can't tell. Found a small shrine at the top of a long set of stairs, shrouded in mist. It seems very old, but it's well made and has not fallen into disrepair. The entrance has a large butterfly. Why isn't why aren't all of these reports their own pages? <laughs> why why are they all unique reports? I came to this hill to take a look at the gate I passed through when I entered the village, but when I tried to find it. Survey details. There must be something about these places he's written about. Alright, so there's like a blurry Yep. Oh, okay. It doesn't light up because she's like a hidden ghost, I guess. But she's not here to hurt me. She's just... She's just visible. That's it. Interesting. I wonder if there are other ghosts like that in the game. I mean, I'm sure there are. It's just I, I wonder if I've missed any so far. Mio moves so much faster than, <laughs> than Miku. Oh, man. All right, outside we go. Mayu's charm. Use radio in the menu to listen to the words. It's not us, so it looks like it can get out of here. Go outside, yes. Uh, interesting. I'm very curious what that is supposed to mean. So I want to, I'm going to once again do a lot of backtracking, play the game a little bit weirdly because I, I one, I don't want to miss anything cool. Oh, type 14 film. Nice. Uh, got some more ammo. Uh, but because... I don't know how much changes in between chapters, and I don't know what changes based on what notes we pick up. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be like wandering around. It looks like there's something on the ground way up at the top. You, you probably can't see it on the stream. Uh, maybe if I move my, no, you won't be able to see it, it's fine. There's a statue of guardian deities here. What looks like twins is carved into its face. There seem to be many statues just like this one throughout the village. So I'm curious if that note that mentioned like red butterflies around and stuff will allow me to see certain things up here. Oh no, but one of the, the torches were was pulled down. Interesting. Can't see anything from there. We have a ton of film, which is great. 
We're still going to need to be a little bit judicious with it, but... Huge talon-like stone pillars are lined up around the giant pedestal rock. Maybe it's some kind of altar. Maybe. Oh, and this is a save point up here. Interesting. I wonder why. I wonder what purpose that serves. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Um, hmm. I have a flashlight now, though, but so I can go across this because I have a light. So let's go do that. You said there was a cemetery back here last time we were here. Again, I don't know if this actually makes a difference at all, but... Interesting. Ooh, creepy music. Extremely Silent Hill sounding. There's like a radio sound. At the roots of a giant tree is a hole. It appears to lead to some sort of cave. Okay, but I can't go in. Why call it out then? <laughs> Ooh, this sound design. Something shiny is on the ground. Glowing blue crystal. Okay, perfect. A spirit orb. Oh, perfect. Ooh, the music is so... The ambiance is perfect. <laughs> I like it so much. How about you, chat? How, how spooked are you? Why is the sound getting so spooky in certain areas? Like, it doesn't appear to be anything around me. <laughs> Kettle says, I'm not scared at all. Sure, bud. You've really convinced me. Oh, man. I miss when games looked like this. I really miss it. Like, I would take a game that looked like this over whatever Ubisoft is doing right now, like, a hundred times to one. Give me a game with some really nice predefined camera angles, some, like, gritty low-res textures. I will eat that up. It looks so cinematic. I love it so much. One thing I'm appreciative of is that the sound effect volume is equalized in this game compared to the music, so it actually it doesn't blow my ears out just like running across grass <laughs> like it did in the first game. Alright. Finally back on track. There's a spooky around. Where is the spooky? There is the spooky. Frozen man. Can't go in that way. The siding screens have fallen off and you can see through the whole house. It doesn't look like there's anything left in there. A rundown well. There's no water left in it, and faint wind blows, blows up from its depths. The survey surveyor must have been here. Near the well, there's a piece of a note. Seems to be a continuation of the surveyor's notes he found earlier. I looked down into the old well, but it was pitch black, and I couldn't see a thing. If you listen closely, you can only hear wind blowing, and it seems that the water has all dried up. I can't tell which was here first, the house or the well. Neither has been used in a while. According to the records, this house used to belong to the powerful Suchihara family. In this village, the Osaka, Kiryu, and Tachibana families were also influential, 
Each house had its own crest and held power in the village. As a group, they were also in charge of a spiritual ritual, or a special ritual. Each was a branch of the Kurosawa family who administered the ceremony. They performed the role of priests. Kurosawa name is scattered throughout the literature, but no concrete information is written. I doubt, uh, I have no doubt that they held absolute power though. Where in the world did the villagers go? And how do you get out of this village? The answers to these questions lie within the Kurosawa house. I'm not sure how I know, but I have a strong feeling about this. I mean, a uh, flashlight beam doesn't reach the bottom of the well. There doesn't seem to be any water. A faint current of air rises out of the bottom. Spooky. Um, that'll be a shortcut later. <laughs> I guarantee it. Oh, mother. Well checker. Nice. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I feel like in history like this, right? When you do research on towns and cities and names, especially in Japan, oftentimes those that hold the most power are not the ones that are most often written about because the ones who are in the most power did not want to be known. So it's very interesting. Ooh, what's in, what's in here? Time to go in the doghouse, little girl. Oh, it's just the backyard. Oh, there's a boy. Hi. Yae? Didn't, wasn't Yae one of the people who died last game? You're back, huh? Yae, you and Sae have to get out. She's at the ceremony master's house. She's gonna do it. Go get her. There's still time to catch up with her. So the word that he's using is Matsuri, which means festival. Trapped boy, I knew it. He's a ghost. Yae, you and Sai have got to get out. There's still time. Hurry. Sometimes the audio just kind of glitches and is what it is. Match of garden deities, twins, blah, blah. I keep checking them just in case there's more film. You're back, huh, Yai? She's at the ceremony master's house. She's going to do it. Go get her. There's still time. Take Sai out of here. Yeah, he's just repeating this dialogue. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder what's up with him. So in Japanese, so the subtitles are very, very close to what he says. I think the subtitles are based on the, the English dub. Uh, what he said there is, I might have the power to do something if you come back to visit, which is interesting. I want to save after that because I took a picture of him. Perfect. Alrighty. Specifically, uh, it, it seemed to me like he was saying, my power might be enough if you like by the next time you come back. So I don't know if he's trying to do something, if he's like a, a spiritual person or, I mean, ghost or otherwise. He seems to be confusing us for who I presume to be the twin maidens that we read about in the note with the twin ritual. Um, Sae and Yae appear to be their names. Wow, there's save points everywhere in this game. They just really want us to have access to Safety saves. Nice. More type 14. Ooh, there's whispering in my headphones. And I don't like it. Statue of Garden Deities. That's cool. I don't know why we're going this way rather than all the other directions, but I really am just trying to be thorough. Oh. All right. 
Let's walk back before I go up there because I want to check the direction we we brought Mayu down uh, when we were playing as her. <clears throat> this game is very cinematic, and I'm really enjoying that aspect of it. Alrighty. Can I go in here? Door seems to be locked. All right, that is good to know. Okay, yeah. Safe points are red butterflies. Also good to know. Countless large gashes. You tried forcing the door open, but it wouldn't budge. No doubt. Where is she leading me? Spooky. So, uh, for context, uh, Apollo says this audio is brutal. It is brutal. It's also, it is louder in my headphones during the fight and it gets louder. Ooh, there's an item on the ground. Uh, <laughs> it, it gets louder the closer I get to them. So peculiar. Like it, it's so smart. Like it makes it makes it feel so much more tense. Okay, to stuck fast. There are two ornaments on the left and right doors depicting two people. There's a slot in each of the ornaments for inserting a flat square key. Okay. Um, I figured that would be the case. Uh, Kettle Chip says uh, the audio makes the Tibetan throat singing feel more calming. I completely, <laughs> completely agree with you. I think this is way more unsettling. But yeah, the the audio, the way it gets louder the closer you are to enemies, it it does a cool thing of essentially making the encounter feel more tense and risky as you get closer to enemies, even though for the most part they're just standing around waiting for you to take pictures of them. Uh that that's really good. That's like a really cool design element. I like that a lot. Game's like low key kind of genius so far. Like I, I think it's a very, very smart sequel. I can enter the building here, sure. Is this game gonna have like an open world structure? Oh. we gonna see oh it reflects on her too that's like a cool transparency layer oh I love like little tricks like this in oh, oh. where are you do you 
he's in here and it's gonna startle me. Oh! Get away from me! Ow! You weren't visible a second ago. Or a zero shot, I should say. I think fatal frames are just when they're about to attack or when they are actually attacking. Please save me. That's the other thing that she says. Nice. Awesome. Okay. Now I can go back to watching this. <laughs> Gwen says, nothing like some fatal frame to give you sweet dreams. Fall asleep watching this. You'll sleep like a baby, I guarantee it. Sleep like you're dead, am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, sorry if I just gave you a seizure with that. I didn't expect it to uh, flicker. Over here. Oh, that's just a, I thought that was like a thing. A uh, heavy cloth sways in the, in the wind. Interesting. There seems to be locked. Uh, let's look at our radio because we, we have a thing to play, don't we? We have to go into a big house that has dolls. That's good to know. Uh, I don't want to just like waste all my spirit orbs on stuff, but may as well. Right? Like it's all upgrades. At the end of the day, I'm going to upgrade them all. So may as well do that. See what's over here. Anything? Anything to interact with? Nope. Upstairs, there are tons of ghosts, and there will be a doll room, possibly. Mm, hate that camera angle. I'm gonna walk out of that door, and there's gonna be someone in the thing. 
Through a gate, across a bridge, into a big house. That's what she said. I don't think you can trick me, game. I see the item there. Chrysu barrel. Oh, no. It hurts, Ness. I just want to check the, the rest of the rooms in this house before I go over the bridge. I think I do just need to go up the mountain. Uh, follow that cutscene that I almost triggered before, but we'll see. Stun power up lens. Oh, excellent. Intermittently stops the movement of a spirit. Spirit power required two. Upgrade extends duration. Making it easier to grab a shutter chance. Perfect. Small lamp lights the surface on the table. Folklorist 2. The guardian deity statues in this area are different in that they are engraved with shrine maidens. The village children say that the statues honor the gods of the village. Also, a book in the house links the statues to something called the Crimson Sacrifice. Maybe the Forbidden Ritual is related to this Crimson Sacrifice. Nah, couldn't be. There, there's no way. I bet the ritual is 100% wholesome and above board and not human sacrifice. Alright, filled up my water, we're good. I have done the smart thing now of uh, having like seven water bottles that I can use to fill my hydro flask <laughs> when I'm streaming. <laughs> Makes it just a little bit easier. Alright, put the folklorist note away. Hate that kimono right there. Don't like that one bit. All right. Okay, I figured that would be the case. Now we'll just go outside across the bridge into the other house. Apollo says, how about Crimson Snackrifice? I agree. Oh, great. That door's locked, too. So I guess we're just going to go back up the mountain. All right. Enough delaying. Sorry, team. Chat, you're so patient with me. You let me wander around and subject you to all these spooky things. This game's giving me life right now. Uh, this is technically my, my Friday, because I am... Uh, I am immediately setting out tomorrow morning. Uh, Brew and I will be going to further confusion. Uh, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. It'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. Um, it's going to be a, you know, smaller con. It's not particularly huge, I don't think. But I think it will be a good time. Oh, no. Akaicho. You know what that means, chat. What do you think it means, chat? Pop quiz time. Crimson butterfly is correct. Kettle chips wins. <laughs> Akai means red, and uh, Cho means butterfly. Cho Cho. Uh, however, one of the cool things about the the wording there. Uh, Oh, it's just leading me back to the boy. I'm going to go back and the boy's going to be like, I've met you for the first time now. <laughs> uh, there is another word for crimson. Uh, well, technically two other words for crimson. Yeah. I believe you can use the word Benny. Yai, yeah, yai, yeah, is that you? Um, yeah. Look for statues of the deities. Okay, so he gave me slightly different advice just then. He said, look out for the, the, statue, the statues of the twin deities. Um, 
I want you to to find your way out. Uh, live the life that I could not live. Probably talking about his brother. He's probably twins too. Crimson butterflies <laughs> flutter over ha <coughs> ha. Uh, flutter over the statue of the guardian deities. Interesting. Um so there are two other words for commonly used for crimson in Japanese. Two keyholes, the gate to the whisper bridge. When the confinement starts, that gate gets locked. The twin statue keys are hidden in twin deity statues somewhere. Look for statues like that somewhere in the yeah. village. Okay. I actually didn't. I didn't realize that. That's good. Um, let's see. Crimson butterflies flutter over the statue of the guardian deities. Okay, I can't uh, do that. So one of them is back in the cemetery. I remember that directly. So we'll do that. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, yeah, so there are multiple words for, for crimson in Japanese. Benny is often used to mean crimson when you use it in names. So Benny Maru uh, is a common name, and it's uh, written with the word for crimson. Um, Benny Suzume. Uh, Benny there refers to crimson, red. Um, but the other word that anyone who's played Guilty Gear with me would know um, is ko. Ko means crimson. So Anji's uh, fan anti-air in, in Guilty Gear, his uh, move that, that makes him fly diagonally to the right is, or I guess di diagonally up, diagonally up. Uh, that is called crimson as well. So technically, Akai in this uh, instance, Akai Cho, just means red butterflies, not crimson butterflies. The translators are being very poetic. <clears throat> uh, examination of the lower portion of the statue uncovers a small wooden block. Twin statue key L, and then the other one I think is in the cemetery down here. Probably have to fight a ghost. Benny Hana is a name, uh, but yeah, Benny Hana means red flower, the crimson flower. I believe it often refers to. Uh, there's a different word for it. But I believe oftentimes when you hear about Benihana, as in the flowers, it is referring... Oh, shoot! Please! Uh, it's referring to spider lilies. Higanbana. Uh, oh, there's three of them. frame look at that and a zero shot we did it nice good job everyone you really supported me back there chat guardian with deities if you looked around it doesn't seem like there's a key hidden i thought there was a twin statue here am i wrong did i just come here for no reason i got the goodies earlier didn't need to worry about fighting and still fought oh well i didn't get hit so Gwen says, I wish I could go to Toaster's Japanese class every day. Uh, uh, when I was in school, when I was in my senior year, 
for credit, I uh, actually taught Japanese 101 once a week because my professor had to go to physical therapy for a shattered uh, ra radius, I think. One of her arm bones was broken. And uh, so I taught on Tuesdays when she had her physical therapy. All right, well, we found one half of the emblem. Now we need to find the other one. It probably isn't in this immediate area. It's probably up on the other hill where we triggered that cutscene, obviously. So. Oh! Trying to catch me? I don't think so. Oh, there's two of you. Three of you. item. Let me pick it up. Spirit orb. Awesome. All right. Dang. Nice. <laughs> so power up lenses are really useful, but what do we want? What do we want to do here? Stun, spirit power required two. I think slowing is probably best, but I want to wait until we get three power up lenses to actually start upgrading them because we'll be able to take really great advantage of them uh, without needing to worry about like our actual stuff being like low powered. Hmm. Exorcismal power and shot range. Basic exorcismal power can be increased with an upgrade. Uh, sensitivity versus range. I do want the capture circle to be bigger. I don't want to. I don't really want to commit to anything right now. So let's just let's just wait. We'll save. So I don't want to have to do that all over again. Uh, let me try to think. I'm trying to think of other cool Japanese words I can teach when they come up. I can give you all lessons. I can give grammar, grammar advice. Honestly, the only reason why I'm not playing this game completely in Japanese, I mean, other than having a stream here to <laughs> play games with, is uh, a lot of the time, survival horror games specifically, but video games in general are really, really great for learning Japanese, but they have a caveat that a lot of the kanji you will see are not actually in use. So it's it's happened quite a few times, and this is the thing with games in general, but very often when a game tries to be hard or be puzzly or have like, for lack of a better word, like fancy proper nouns, they will be written with characters that are like not in common use. So you end up spending a lot of time looking up words that aren't even useful to know. Because in modern Japanese, a lot of these concepts are not going to be written with, with kanji at all, right? I'm not talking about in Fatal Frame, but like, for example, the word for knight, or the word, like, knight as in, like, a knight with a sword, um, or the word for, like, vampire is just going to be written in, in katakana, um, which is one of their phonetic alphabets, um, for emphasis, rather than writing the, you know, the proper version, like a 
Kishi or, or Kyuketsuki. Uh, that's knight and vampire, respectively. It's often Kishi written in katakana or Kyuketsuki written in, in katakana. So you can spend a lot of time like learning characters and learning how to read them, but like it's not going to actually help you. Lower portion gives you a small block. Oh! Scary. Get out of here. Nice, we got him. Correct. There is still another one though. Yeah, there are two. I have a ton of Type 14 on it. A double zero shot, that's not bad at all. What are we doing this? Oh no! I tried to take the shot right then. Oops. Oh dang, this guy's tanky. So I got both halves of the key, didn't I? Well, I can go ahead and go use this now, can't I? Am I incorrect? Twin statue key right. Twin statue key left. All right. I've teased you all so much <laughs> with with going up the the hill, but I haven't done it yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want to see. I, I can't I can't tell if this is what he was talking about or not. Because remember, there were like the two keyholes here for square keys. So inserted the two twin statue keys into the left and right doors. Okay, perfect. Over to the bridge into a house with dolls. Herbal medicine. All right, we got more. We got more herbal medicine. Good for us. All right, since this is the way I think the game wants me to go, I am going to go up the mountain now. I refuse to be sidetracked. This is going to give me like the bad ending or something, I swear. All right. I'm over the moon about how fast she moves in comparison to Miku. <laughs> I teased the hill too long and got a bad ending as a result of it. Yeah, exactly. This is what I get for abusing chat. So we made we made over five thousand spirit points, I think, from the last encounter. Yeah, we did. Yeah, so dang, we're doing pretty good. I wanna get that base level up to two, maybe even up to three as fast as possible. It might take some time, but I think it will serve us really well if we can get it up to the second level before we upgrade anything else, because it just makes our shots more powerful, which conserves us ammo early on, which is when we really, really need to conserve ammo, so we have it for later. All right, give me whatever items that are up here. I want them. I want all the goodies. Are the lanterns lighting up behind me as I run? They are. Oh, no, they're, they're already lit. I just couldn't really see. Sacred water. Glad I walked up here. Ooh. 
trine shadow. <laughs> Gwen says, be sure to find one of those stone mirror mirrors so that we can revive. Yeah. On the door of what appears to be a shrine, a large butterfly mark is displayed. The surveyor must have been here. On the stairs in front of the entrance, a piece of a note lies. I found a small shrine at the top of a long set of stairs, shrouded in mist. It seems very old, but it is well made and has not fallen into disrepair. The shrine has a large butterfly crest painted on it. It's the same as the one on the building beyond the large bridge. Butterflies seem to have a special meaning, just like twins. They are frequently mentioned in the ritual literature. Butterfly means something else to the villagers, too. I notice that word always appears in writings about the ritual. I may not know its exact meaning, but the fact that the butterfly crest is on a shrine indicates that it is very special indeed. I should investigate further. Dang. Spooky. Oh. I missed whatever apparition that was. Oh, this game has got such an atmosphere. I'm spooked, but I like it. I like it, guys. Help. taking a leisurely stroll just having a good time enjoying the sights the map in this game uh it's so like wide open we're not really hitting many doors we're not in lots of little hallways like every single place we've been we've been in so far feels like a big open connected area okay i can't tell exactly what was just said but it sounded like the other twin said sae so, he's saying something. Oh, she, maybe? I want. Paskete, save me. What's happening? Is it cutscene loading? Yes, okay. I was very confused what was just occurring. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, don't go, don't go under there. I hate that. There we go. She is. You can't hide from me. Not gonna do damage. Okay. We 
did it. We did it, y'all. We made it happen. Did she drop any items? She did. Green crystal. Spirit orb. Nice. It's kind of depressing how the game is like, listen to the spirit radio, you'll get hints, but the hints are just like, dying hurts. Ow, I'm cold. Like, just a little grim. Did a f save point just pop into existence right there? <laughs> that was funny. It's like the save point took a second longer to load than the rest of the level. <laughs> Gwyn says, hint, oh god, oh fuck, they're eating my bones. <laughs> exactly. most obvious item ever a spirit orb pogs in chat fellas the spooky pog all right trying our best here kind of just to figure out Okay, this is the only real place to go. This reminds me of the uh, mansion in the opening, or I guess in the first arc of uh, Mononoke, one of my favorite horror anime. Uh, there is a uh, medicine seller, and he goes to an estate to exercise a bake neko, which is an evil cat spirit. I did not mean to put that there, but that's fine. The two that I wanted. We'll just put spirit orbs in the basic functions right now. It's fine. Kettle Chip says Mononoke is sick. Yeah, Mononoke is sick. It's so cool. Uh, yeah, if people need anime recommendations, watch Ayakashi, uh, the Bakeneko arc, and then its follow up Mononoke. Really, really cool series. Why you? <laughs> oh, spooky. They give us a light. They taketh away the light. Chapter 3, The Repentance. Wow, this game is moving at a very fast pace. Oh. Priest behind. Show me that booty. The flowers in the urn are completely withered and dry. They crumble at your touch. Guests must have entertained here, been entertained here at one time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is the door I came through. Can't go. Countless handprints on the door. Well, that's creepy. Didn't need that detail. You could have kept that to yourself, game. Kusabi is coming. Interesting. Okay, once again, not an evil ghost, just a ghost. 
instant. Text the fatal frame of the spirit and signals you by making the light in the upper part of the viewfinder flash red. A fatal frame is the most opportune moment to shoot within a shutter chance. If you capture a fatal frame, a shutter chance will occur during the blast back. Shooting again gives you a combo shot. Okay, so fatal frames are really useful in this game. We got quite a few. film. Excellent for us. Old kimonos again. Herbal medicine. Ooh, we love that. Put that eastern medicine in my veins. The festival is close. The ritual is close. He said. Everyone's going to die. thinking I'm about to get a fatal frame, but it, it it's scary enough that I don't go for it. <laughs> there you go. Alright, interesting. Uh, I am going 16 herbal medicine. Damn. I've been getting a lot of that stuff. This game is very generous with its ammo and its items. <clears throat> what? There are a great many bloody print handprints on the plastered wall. The prints were made with such force you can see indentations in the plaster. You would have to be really strong to do that. Unless the plaster was wet. Because <laughs> this isn't... Th th I don't think this is, like, sheetrock or whatever. Uh, it's... Uh, this is, like, hard material used to make houses. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. I tried to take the picture. I missed it again. <laughs> I'm not really scared about being damaged right now because the game is is so generous so much more generous with healing items but 
Oh man, that is so hard to hit though. Killed her with a candid photo. <laughs> Something is shining in the light. Spirit orb acquired. Gwyn says this game does seem a lot less janky than the first one. Yeah, it it feels like a completely different video game. And uh, Narik says this is a very humid village. That explains it. <laughs> All right. Uh, function power up. Sensitivity. We want more damage, folks. And, uh, I don't want to waste any on the, the special abilities yet because I haven't really used them and I haven't really needed to. So I don't, I don't know how powerful they're going to be. I think I used it once. All right. Oh, perfect. Sacred water. Ooh, nice. The game has been doing clever little things like that with, with item placement, where it's like just slightly uh, obscured by the camera transition. Uh, a picture of a bird in a pine tree. It must have been beautiful at one time, but now it's faded and dilapidated. Oh, how depressing. The frame of a sunken fireplace is broken and has fallen down. On closer inspection, you see red stains all over the sunken fireplace. Oh yeah, this is the room she was in earlier. Right? Mayu? Right, can't go anywhere over here. I like danced around that scene transition that entire time without realizing it. <laughs> Bodies everywhere, just like she said. Oh. I hate teeth, like close ups of teeth like that. Close your mouth, girl. Laugh like a normal person. intense. Can I not fight this thing? Oh, I can. Oh, it, there's no fatal frame chance. Oh my god, it instantly kills you. Wow. Wow, that's brutal. Boast, <laughs> uh, boss ghost is strong. Yeah, apparently. That was wild. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to have to go through that those fights again. Sorry. I didn't realize I didn't realize that thing was gonna kill me in one hit. We can skip cutscenes in this game though, so. That's Which way did I go first the first time? There's the guy in there's yeah, there's like the crying ghost in here. Gotta get all my healing items, all my goodies in here. Protein film. Herbal medicine. Very 
good. Go the other room. Oh, that's the locked door, so I can't go in there. Pretty much the same spot that I used it last time, too. This game is is a real joy. In my head, this was a cutscene. I'm just speed running right now. It's all good. All right. I guess I didn't lose that much progress. I have a ton of ammo right now too, so I'm not too worried about the kind of damage that I'm taking. I will heal myself before the, last, the next fight though. sure how to get the combo shot off. I'll we'll just be at full health for this because I, I want to make sure we're surviving. Making a save state just so that we don't need to go through all that again. Alright. I probably won't use it. <laughs> we increased our sensitivity. I use Trump's updated too. Um, 
Intriguing. I wonder, I wonder what was up with that. Hmm. All right, interesting. Let's move forward. Camera Obscura doesn't have any effect. Is this a chaser ghost? Do I just need to run? Ah. I guess so. I guess that's a chaser ghost and there's nothing we can do about it. Let's go! It means I didn't need to use my two herbal medicines, but it's fine. <laughs> the cloth is filthy from being exposed to the elements. Oh man, we got our first stone mirror two hours in. That's much better pacing from the like three we got in the first 45 minutes of the other game. <laughs> Second floor Mayu, all I got was a butt cheek. Ooh, fancy shadows. And that's an emulator issue, but fine. Moving on. I think we're making pretty good progress in this game, if I do say so myself. Two hours to get this far. I f it feels like a lot's happened. I mean, maybe not nearly as much as like the chapter based uh, chapter based structure of the first game, but we're in we're in chapter three already. It's like a pretty solid pace. Ooh, shotgun film! Yay! Beautiful red display case. So we had to go across the bridge. Folklore three. For several days, earthquakes have increased in frequency. At the same time, crimson butterflies are swarming, sometimes blocking out the sun. Somehow they look sad. Villagers that seem to uh, see them put their hands together in prayer. The entire village has an air of impending doom. The village is quite fearful of the earth's fury. Perhaps the Crimson Sacrifice Ritual is performed to purify the ground. In the past, every area had some type of ground purifying ceremony. Many of these offered sacrifices to try and calm the gods. That custom still remains today. It explains the stillness in the village. The twin shrine maidens must be the guardian deities of the village. The guardian deities, the twin shrine maidens, have become crimson butterflies and are returning to the village. Huh, that's actually kind of interesting. Not exactly what I was expecting. I miss the days of survival horror games where you could just go up to everything in the environment and like mash X and it would be like, it would give you like a little thing like your character's thinking, right? Like there are flowers on the display in, round, in a round dimly lit window. Like that's so immersive and cool. I don't know. Modern survival horror games don't do that. I wish they did. 
Signalis did it, but that's because Signalis is the greatest survival horror game ever made. All right. Uh, oh, Connor followed. Loan, loan some chunk. 44. Thanks for following. I didn't notice. Uh, he followed like five minutes ago. Uh, everyone, if you haven't checked it out, look at... I want to say it's called Minotaurs Unleashed. I swear I, I looked into it. I just can't remember the, the title off the top of my head while playing. Uh, it's a Pathfinder 2 supplement that uh, Connor made for uh, Minotaur races and heritages, I, I guess is what they should be called. Uh, so yeah, you should you should definitely check that out. Does that count? Lock engraved with the diamond stack pattern family crest. The key is covered with dark red substance. More herbal medicine. Perfect. This game's really given us a lot of items. It's it's just throwing stuff at us right now, which is great. It, it's really helpful for us. Bamboo baskets on the wall. But Connor, if you're still in chat, uh, thanks for watching. We love you. We appreciate all you do. Connor, creator of Toast Pog. I feel like everyone knows Connor here, but if there's anyone that doesn't, that's who Connor is. <clears throat> All right. A different place shows in the photo. It looks like countless handprints on the wall. Yeah, we know where that is. So, I, Sae something, Sae why did you run, or why are you running, or something like that, I couldn't, I couldn't exactly make out what was being said, but that is in fact what it was, what it was saying, uh, from what I did here, uh, uh, I am, I'm gonna need to, uh, oh my god, lightning. I'm gonna need to go back through this ghost room and I'm really scared <laughs> that the ghost is gonna be in here still. It is. Oh no. Gwen said, that was lightning. That sounded more like the building crashing down around you. Yeah, it was really loud in my headphones. The twins. Oh, that was a ghost. I thought that was... Oh, my God. Dragger. Oh. It's like a one-armed ghost. Oh, I got points for that one, though. Uh, don't love that sound. Can't trick me, it's spooky. Can't interact with that. Can't seem to take a picture of it yet. Right there. I guess I just have to pick this up. Blast power up lens. Raises damage, blast back. Slow blast back ability. Okay. Inflicts heavier damage than normal and enables blast back. Forces the spirit back, even when it's not a shutter chance. To use, press uh, triangle button when you've two or more, more spirit points. Raising the level of this effect allows you to inflict increased damage and enables you the slow blast back ability. Okay. I mean, it's definitely there.
<laughs> I'm confused. Why won't it let me interact with it? Why won't it let me take pictures of it? There we go. I just had to find the exact framing for it. Oh no. ghosts in this room. Oh, that is dirty. That's fighting dirty. This is a deadly position to be in. Oh my gosh. survived. Woo. We did it. Diamond stack key. Oh, we got it. Perfect. Excellent. Good for us. Faintly glowing crystal. Oh, we got more crystals and another spirit orb. Dang, we have so many. Okay, I have three more. Uh, what do I want to add to? I think range will be the next one. We won't do anything with that yet, but... We zoom in. We're going so quick. Turns head. Munakata. Wasn't Munakata a character from the first game? Ryozo? Oh.
Jack says, loud, yes, <laughs> the game gets loud. <laughs> Interesting. Looks like an old diary. Ancient village records have been stored in the ceremony master's house. Many discuss the legends, folktales, or rituals of the village. There are sure to be many records of folklore value. The forbidden ritual is also called the crimson sacrifice ritual. Twins are used to help seal the gate to hell. There are two parts, the visible ceremony, which occurs periodically, and if it fails, a hidden ceremony is performed. If all the ceremonies fail, the gate to hell will open, the dark will pour out, and the skies will go dark. They call this disaster the repentance. The whereabouts of Munakata's friends, the twin boys Itsuki and Mutsuki, are unknown, which is a little troubling. If they are found, I might be able to ask them about the village. Interesting. Are these just dead bodies appearing everywhere for now? With a red substance. I like how when, when horror games want to be spooky, they're like... This is covered in a red substance. What could it be? It's like you could just say blood. But I guess it's creepier to not specify. Oh, great, we got Mayu back. Oh, and we're in chapter four. Butterfly Diary 1. Munakata and his teacher came to the village today. He said he was worried about Itsuki and came to help. But I can't tell outsiders about this village. Itsuki's locked up in the storehouse. I doubt he'll be allowed to talk with an outsider. Mr. Makabe made a picture of us with his picture box. My face looked strange, but it was interesting to see. He's probably going to be blank because our cleansing isn't finished yet. Before that happens, we have to help him escape. If I can become one with Yae, I'll be happy. That's the only thing that matters to me. Warped twins. Oh, interesting. Uh, it's a Secret asks, which version of the game is this? This is the PS2 version of the game. The Wii version of the game has an over-the-shoulder camera. Um, so we're going to take a really quick break. I just have to use the restroom and fill up my water bottles and stuff. Uh, I will be right back. Uh, maybe see you in about like five minutes. Uh, that should be all it takes. All right. Be right back, everyone. Thanks for your patience.
All right, I'm back. Hello, everyone. Thank you for your patience. Uh, we should be ready to go in a second. Just need to get my controller noticed by the game again. Uh, I have to edit something really quickly. Big settings. There we go. No more shaking. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we should be good. Volume good, everyone hear everything good? We all set? Turn down the game volume just a tiny bit. There we go, that should be better. Uh, so she, she didn't say there's something familiar, she said there's something nostalgic about the, uh, there's something nostalgic about the smell in here. All right. Something shows in the photo. It looks like the same doll. I, yeah, I know. I know what doll you want. We were just in that room, and now we need to go all the way back to find it. No, it's right here. You're, you're joking me right now, right? You're joshing me. Fight me. There we go. What? Come on, Sadako. Get me. Oh, no. I want to run through you. Because where we are right now is a little bit dangerous. This is so hard. There we go. Where the heck did she go? Nine hundred points. That does not suck. Oh, this much more like single encounter kind of slow combat, I think, is so much better than the first game's combat, which was just like frantic and nonsensical. Come on. Turn your ugly head around and fight me. There we go. Wind all heads. Perfect. Kettle Chip says, I leave for 10 minutes to make dinner and Mayu comes back. Mayu was back before. I got up, filled my water, and took a leak in the time it took for you to make dinner and come back. And Mayu came back. 
It seems that inserting their heads makes the mechanism start to work. Oh, I see. I need to get this is a sliding block puzzle with a timer. That is the, that is devilish. This is a terrible puzzle. <laughs> oh no, this is gonna take us a while. Two seconds remaining. I'm not dumb. I was able to do it. All right. A sound came from the small drawer on the doll stand, as if it just unlocked. <clears throat> There's something in the drawer. Butterfly key. Oh, that's way back at the start. Ooh. All right. We made a little bit of progress there. Not bad at all. Come on, Mayu. I like how Mio doesn't question Mayu at all. Like, when she gets here, she's just like, Mayu, are you okay? And Mayu's like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> and then they just leave. It's like, I would be like, okay, but listen, we're in like a haunted horror village. You're not allowed to run away from me and then act coy. <laughs> like, what are you doing? This is how you get ax murdered. The twin girls of the house gave me a map that shows a side door. They said that the hidden ceremony is near and that I should escape out the side door during the night. They left so quickly I couldn't even ask them about it. The other people in the house are acting normally. Was there some ulterior motive behind the generous hospitality? Just to be safe, I will tell Munakata to go home ahead of me. Interesting. So the folk... Interesting. Alright, we have to walk regular speed so that we don't leave my So we have time to save our game. Thank goodness. I wonder what the battle with the spooky lady is going to be like. Uh, the rain, it's cold. That's what she says. You were born for this. Interesting. Oh, 
hobble on in, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, you you do need to go. <laughs> huh. Hold on, I want to check something. Okay, interesting. Uh, it's a secret says is this good I think this game's good this game's this game's great you can hear distant thunder lighting lightning occasionally lights up the sky but you can't see anything else as for whether or not oh, come on. whether or not what is occurring is good for us probably not Combo shot, let's go. Nice. Basque says, freedom, I arrive. Welcome, Basque. Uh, I hope you like ghosts, because this game is significantly scarier and, and more intense than the first game. There are a lot more ghosts. This leans really heavy into the J-horror of this whole experience. <clears throat> Uh, I currently have slow equipped. I might. Mm, I kind of want to add spirit orbs to blast because it seems like the most efficient. Um, but it's also the most expensive and it requires two spirit power. So. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to use those yet. <laughs> That's how, what it boils down to. <clears throat> Mina no tame korosu. We need to kill for the sake of the village. For the sake of everyone. This is where that locked door was, right? Yep. That's what I was looking at earlier, but I, I couldn't remember where we were. Wait. Oh, here we go. Why do we run? 
Nice. All right, and we've unlocked another huge section of the <laughs> of house. Uh, something glittered in the light, sacred water. Okay, cool, we got some more sacred water. Uh, Nurik says, would slow help with teleporters? Um, it's a little bit difficult because when they're slowed, they also, uh, their invincibility frames are also slowed. So it's like, if I target them, if I slow them at the wrong time, I waste the slow because I have to sit there and wait for them to recover long enough for me to be able to actually attack them. Yeah, pick up the thingy. Pick up the thingy, girl. Mio, something is here. Part of the floor is broken. You can see down to the floor below. There seems to be something caught in a spider web strung acro across the hole. But I can't get it yet? Okay. Yeah, I know. Damn it, girl. There's a board attached to the surface. Okay. And twin tome. Among the carefully arranged books, one book in particular clearly stands out. In the Crimson Sacrifice Ritual, the Shrine Maidens become one again. They become a deity and appease the blank. The latter stays here, watching over the human world. The first shall pass through the blank, calming the earth. Okay, so Mayu would be the sacrifice then in this case. An outsider visited with perfect timing. I'll use him for the hidden ceremony and pacify the blank. We must ensure he doesn't escape before that. I'm sure that that's demon. I'm sure the word there is demon. An eerie mask stares at anybody who enters the room. True, that is in fact what that mask does. It does stare. Taboo tone. The gate to hell is called... Okay, maybe it's not demon. Maybe it's hellmouth. The gate to hell is called the hellmouth. Gaze not upon the hellmouth. Eyes that glimpse the hellmouth will be blinded by the hellmouth. Speak not of the hellmouth. The mouth which utters hellmouth will be made speechless by the hellmouth. Listen not to the hellmouth. Those who heed the hellmouth are turned he heartless by the hellmouth. <laughs> Crimson wing tone. Shrine maidens of the past and future made into crimson butterflies return from the hellmouth as guardians of the village. Those that become butterflies ascend to heaven, parting the skies above, inviting the light upon us. If the hellmouth rumbles on a year without the ceremony, a kusabi is needed. A kusabi is an outsider made into a Buddha. The more they suffer, the greater the calming of the hellmouth. So, kusabi in Japanese means like link or like connection. It, sometimes it refers to like a nail. But it's, it isn't the word for nail. It just sometimes is used to refer to like a joint or a, uh, a pin that you would put in something sometimes. If the ritual is not performed, the hellmouth will open. And human wretches shall burst forth from the hellmouth. Villagers will be engulfed by the hellmouth. And the sky will be plunged into darkness. The darkness will spread over the land and for generations awaking the hellmouth. We must think of this disaster as repentance for our failure to fulfill our duty to the hellmouth which grants us life. We must accept that this is the reason for our existence. All right, so that was like a bit of a lore dump. Demonic looking statue. So it's a secret, Jack says. Uh, so a Kusabi would nail the Hellmouth shut. I think so. 
Uh, I think that's the idea, is that we are uh, pinning it closed, basically. Oop. Dresser there. You know what that means. Oh, nothing. That's what that means. All right, 72 type, two, type 14 film isn't bad. I have crunchy tacos that just got delivered. I'm so stoked. Ooh, a ball. Crimson ball. I'll show you some crimson balls. Let's go. Anyone? Bueller? There seems to be something caught in a spider web acro strung across the hole. Maybe it would come loose if you dropped the ball onto it. There we go. Oh, sorry, Mayu. Hard to play the game with one hand while I'm trying to quietly eat a taco. Wait, where's the goodie? Where'd the goodie go? Where's my thingy? There we go. Diamond link key. Oh, perfect. That's probably just the room in here. I probably need it just to get through. Missed my chance. Door stuck. Why no VTuber taco? That would be so much work. That'd be so much work. Maybe for when I have hand tracking, I will get, uh, I'll get Ka to model me like tacos and pizza and stuff that I can enable and then eat while I'm actually eating so it doesn't break your immersion. getting to the spooky part of the game now. All right. There's a layer of dust on the ashes in the coal brazier. It hasn't been used in a long time. How much for a horror mukbang stream? Uh, you'll you'll have to you'll have to speak to my agent about that. That might only be for the only fans. Something is reflecting in the light. Ooh, shotgun film, yay. Wait, so which way did we come into this room? Oh, okay, I see. Okay. <laughs> Masaka. Long ago, a visitor to the mountain village became a, a ceremonial sacrifice. When the veiled priest captured me, they said things like outsider in Kusabi. What exactly is the nature of the hidden ceremony? The key the twin girls gave me must be for the side door of the house. The key for the cell must be in another house. According to the map, the key is hidden in a cave under the Osaka house. Maybe this is the cellar in the passageway that I read about. Out of my way, sister. Be gone, thought. The food plan sounds like it could segue into Vor, says Narik, rather easily. Indeed. Open up. 
slide right in. Ah. Uh... Oh, well. The square mouth of the old well gapes open. It's too dark to see the bottom. Does not look like a square at all. I know that's a square, but <laughs> what? I don't think that's the mouth of the well. Oh no. Konaide, don't come. The sensitivity on the, the camera aiming becomes way higher when you're in a fatal frame or you're in a shutter chance. It like makes it genuinely difficult to use. He has, like, ink all over his face. Oh, those are talismans. Oh, no. No, there's there's calligraphy on his, his actual face as well. Damn. Come at me, bro. You wanna fight? Let's fight. That was a sloppy fight. That's fine. Oh no, it's fine. I still have one more chance. That was a little rough. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for that, everyone. That was shameful. Got another spirit orb. Man, they really just give you <laughs> spirit orbs. So all three of my my normal skills, my basic functionality, are leveled up to level two. So that's not bad. Oh, finally, Nightbot is putting my my uh, info into chat. And says Nightbot's been uh, slacking on the job. I see. I think it was because I wasn't logged in earlier to Nightbot. That is, I'm not sure why I would need to be logged in. But if we op if we can open this, we can leave, right? That's what she said. De la de la leva or ake leva. If we can open, de la leva would be if we can leave. Tathia says, Gasp, a spooky game. Indeed, we are playing the first Fatal Frame, or the second Fatal Frame on PS2. So Crimson Butterfly. Question now becomes, how do we get the hammer key from, or yeah, the hammer key. <laughs> Keeps calling us Yae, but we're not Yae, we're Mio.
Alrighty. Where haven't we been? That is my question. Oh wait, no. This said something about the Osaka house, didn't it? Is that where we are? I thought we were in the Kurosawa, we're in the Kurosawa house. So we might need to exit and find our way back, right? Two padlocks, light and shadow. Okay. Get out of my way, Mayu. Come on. Get with the picture. Also, thanks for your first time chat, Taffius. Right. I just want to make sure what we're looking at is correct. If we can try, maybe we can exit out a different way here, uh, but if we can't, maybe we leave and go back to the ocean. Place. Ritual Pusher. He, he spoke something to Yae just now. I wasn't able to make out what he said, though. The door is open. Okay, cool. We found, we got another way. Yippee. This looks like a boss arena if I've ever seen one. Jack asks, is there a reason for the naming scheme of these ghosts? Uh, I think so. Nice, two hit combo. Narik says, accept your fate, I think he said. That would make sense. I, I just wasn't, I wasn't really able to make it out. I didn't notice the subtitles. Oh. Jokes on you, fool. Get photographed. That did no damage, but it's fine. That's not gonna count. Oh no. Alright. We're gonna have to use an item. Where are you? There he is. Cool pros, bro. Uh, cool pose, bro. Fight me. He disappeared. <laughs> Tafia says these old school menus are giving me flashbacks. Yeah, I miss I miss big clunky like chunky menus in in old uh, games, especially horror games where you can like investigate items and read files and stuff. All right, let's see. Come on. I've been using a lot of film. I need to be a little bit more careful about that. Oh, Sadame. That's the word she used. Glowing red crystal. Oh yeah, we have crystals to to pay attention to. Narik says, the high pitch ringing is getting kind of annoying. Yeah, it is definitely a little bit annoying. I can try turning the volume down a little bit, but we're risking making a lot of the dialogue completely inaudible the longer, the, the more I turn it down. So, all right. Ceremony Master's note one. The malice coming from the hell mouth is getting stronger. I've searched and there is no record of it getting this strong in the past. Recently, poor harvests and deaths have begun to increase. The time of repentance for Tachibana's failure to perform the ritual is drawing near. 
Half of the mourners were driven mad by the malice and jumped into the hellmouth. We must prepare more mourners. We'll use the sinners. If we don't do something, the hellmouth will overflow in a few years. I must use my daughters in the ritual. Sai and Yai must be cleansed for the village. <coughs> Where is the other item? There was there were other items in this room, weren't there? There definitely were. Where did they go? Did they disappear? Were they only available during the fight? Oh no. One's right there. There we go. Sai and Yai ran away with that boy, a remaining. The Kusabi calmed the Hellmouth a little, but it is still rumbling. If the twins aren't brought back, the village will be swallowed by the Hellmouth. They're my daughters. I must find them. I am wondering if it isn't Hellmouth, but if it's Volcano? Herbal medicine. Oh, okay. So we got our resources back. Nice. The only thing we kind of lost out on so far was the. it's just the film that we're using, so... I'll use the infinite film for a little while if I can. Many instruments here are probably used for the ceremony. At the back of the altar, you can dimly make out two Buddha statues. Okay. That's great, but what is, what did this room? Oh, there's, there's stairs in this room. I'm so dumb. <laughs> I'm such a fool. All right. Can't see what's behind the partition. So chat, how are we liking the game so far? Uh, high pitched noise notwithstanding. You think it's better than the first game? Kettle Chip says, much better in my opinion, I'm invested. Yeah, I'm I'm into the story of this one a lot more than the first one, which is just like, I'm looking for my brother. <laughs> which is fine. It can, you know, that kind of story can be interesting, but like she really had no character other than Onisan, where are you? Ooh, when I stepped on the pattern on the floor. Uh, it... I think so. Okay. Confused says, I find the whole premise of fighting ghosts with flash photography endlessly hilarious for some reason. Well, it's like how back in the day, uh, people thought that cameras stole your souls, right? Well, if all you are is a soul... Makes sense that you'd be screwed over by a camera, right? I should... I should go downstairs. I should check what's downstairs before I move forward. We need to be really good about this. So that I don't run out of healing items and ammo like I did last time. Mio, chotomate! I guess she, she follows after me. All right, Taff- <coughs> Sorry, did not mean to cough into the mic. Uh, Taffia says, I just showed up, so no frame of reference. I'll just say it's good. Hey, I mean, if that works, right? Uh, the first game we played over the past three days. Uh, was it the past three days? The past week. I think I started it on Sunday, and then... Uh, ended up mm, switching over to this one today uh, after alternating a different game. Uh, and so that's where we are on the stream. I don't think many of the other viewers have played this game. I think I'm the only one, right? Unless maybe Confused has, has seen it or has played it or Hobbs has or something. I don't know if Hobbs is watching right now. But uh, I think maybe, Apollo, have you played these games? Uh, 
だよね Kettle chips just said something that broke my brain. I've seen the trophy in Smash Bros. That's it. This game has a trophy in Smash Bros? <laughs> what? Is this another one of those? I didn't I didn't realize it. I didn't realize that Nintendo like had any sort of say over this game's publishing. I mean, I knew that that Mask of the Lunar Eclipse and uh, Made in the Blackwater were like Wii and Wii U exclusives, but I, I had no idea that Nintendo had anything related to the series. That's interesting. Yeah, twins, just look into the walk into the chamber that looks like it's for sacrificing people in the village where they sacrifice twins. <laughs> there are Moni Master Note 5. Gae is not coming back. Did she really leave Sae behind? Did she survive in the forest? If Sae is cleansed and acts as a shrine maiden alone, the Hellmouth might be appeased. The records do not mention any rituals with a single shrine maiden, but I will do it. I have to try. Gae, why did you run? Why won't you come back? Oh, you know, just like, because you want to sacrifice us? Little reasons, tiny ones. Butterfly design. Everyone is calling. Narik says she just insta kills you with the camera. Oh, it's it's an assist trophy. Interesting. Which one is it? Is it the protagonist of one of these games? It's probably the protagonist from one of the later games. into the murder closet. More sacred water. They're really throwing healing items at me. Mio and Mayu appear as a spirit in Ultimate. Okay, interesting. I should know stuff like that because I do like Smash Bros, but I just, Ultimate was not my game, so I did not play much of it. The single player stuff just doesn't really capture me, so I didn't end up playing any of it. I unlocked all the characters and was like, cool, I have what I need. Confused says there's so many spirits. That is what I heard. Hmm. All right. We got the key of light. We've been in all the rooms. Fifteen or one hundred one thousand five hundred and thirteen spirits. Okay, interesting. That's that's always so strange to me though, because the the spirits are basically just like clone characters, aren't they? Like they're not like actually custom, it's just like you'll be fighting a match against Snake, but it will be like you're fighting a match against Doom guy because they're both army men. Right? Am I wrong? Does, do they actually, like, show up as, like, modded individual models or whatever? Ooh. 
Look at them leggy. Spirits are equipable things. Gotcha. But I thought there were like challenges where you where you fight against them. Am I wrong? I thought that was like a single player thing. Gotcha. So in single player, you do you do fight against them, basically. It's like opponents that are themed. That's what I thought. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. No, it's not that way that I want to go. It's this way. Trying to figure out where to go here. Uh, uh, oh wait, no, this is just this room. Darn, uh, can't remember what direction we're going in. I go across the, do I go across the spooky ghost hallway? I think I do. I didn't even realize this was a door. <laughs> Missed a whole wing of the house probably because of that. Oh God, it's just, there's blood everywhere. It's just a bloody closet. That's all. There's no items in here or anything? Dang, what a waste. <laughs> Kettle chips. No, there's red. There's a red substance everywhere. Yeah. I have no idea what this red substance is. This warm body temperature red substance that smells like iron. Couldn't tell ya. No clue. <gasps> Type 90 film. woman so we got one of the keys to the padlock I thought we needed light and shadow but we have shadow key maybe this will let us go somewhere that we couldn't get to before let's see Squeaky floors. I will say that in terms of how the game progresses and all the things we're capable of like doing at any given point, this game is much more open and thus much harder uh, to remember like where things are and where to go than the first game. Because the first game, you were locked into like roots pretty strongly and every like it, they weren't huge paths. So in this game, when you have like whole houses to explore that are the size of the first game's mansion in its entirety, that's pretty impressive. That's like a pretty big bump. Did I go the wrong way? Which way did I... 
I wanted to go... Oh, I guess I did. <clears throat> While I chew on some food, I think we have a new spirit radio. We have two new spirit radios to listen to, so I'll mute myself. I'll finish eating, and we can listen to this while we wait. Alrighty. Alright, so the room that I'm trying to get back to is the one with the padlocks. I just don't remember where it is. Yeah, we've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. There's nothing there to grab. Ah, have to pull my seat in a little bit. There we go. It's like right here. No, wait, not right there. Where, Where's the room I'm looking for? Oh, the room I'm looking for is down here. Yeah, so I went the complete opposite direction. My bad. Myself into a bunch of danger for nothing. Ended up getting two ghost photos and type 90 film though, so that's a pretty big win. Game's gonna give me like a different ending depending on how how often I like ran away from Mayu. I guarantee it. It's gonna pull some Silent Hill 2 shit. Taking a leisurely stroll in the axe murder house. It's all good. <clears throat> Alright, so we have we have the shadow padlock. I just I don't know where we're gonna find the, the hammerhead key or the, the hammer key, not hammerhead. I'm talking about there. Uh, where was it in here? Am I, am I losing it? Am I losing all sense of direction right now? I am. Oh dear. 
Type 14 film though, nice. I didn't even notice that last time we were in here. There, there is like a place upstairs, isn't there? Okay, so I can't use this until I get the light key. Move your butt, my I'm trying to get out of here. Come on. Is there anything this way? Ooh, a rotten smell wafts from the dark urn. Turn around. Oh, that was wild that, that, like, shifted the camera angle like that. What was this way? Oh, this is just the way to the, uh, the other room, like, the fancy ceremonial room, right? So, can't do anything there. We'll have to go back. Maybe upstairs is the solution. So we go upstairs. I just can't think of any other areas that we haven't explored yet, and I, th I think up here is the only place. Right? It's like right up here. So there's got to be something else up here, right? Seemingly no. Oh, is this the other? This is the stuck door. I should have opened it before. I have... All right. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything in this room because I feel like there's like a book or something here that I might not have picked up. Hmm. Nope. Okay. Maybe I just needed to open this door for whatever I'm looking for to spawn. Okay, so this puts us on the other side of the house where we were before. So if I only, if only I was smart in the past, we would not have had to do all that backtracking. This just makes me feel like it must be around here though. Many difficult sounding books lie on the shelves or on subjects like legends, sacrifices, and rituals. A, a rabbit's head in there? It's weird looking. Ooh. Small doll in the chair, nothing to interact with. I knew it. There's something still around here. Did it disappear? Oops. I didn't mean to push that. There was a ghost in here just now. Or something supernatural. Buttering candle gives off a faintly warm glow. How pleasant.
Where is it? Where is the ghost? Here it is. <clears throat> the doll stand shadow. Okay. Does that get us anything? Nope. Huh. All right. Let's continue. Uh, welcome new viewers to chat, by the way. Hello. Uh, let's try to see where uh, where this thing could be because I'm, I'm a little bit lost. I'm not 100% sure. It's got to be something we just plainly overlooked. I haven't checked over here in a minute, maybe. Ha! Ah! Acquired the evade additional function. Allows you to avoid spirit damage caught by a spirit by pressing the shutter button at the right moment to set up a flash and stun the spirit. Okay. Large dragon figure here. Nice. That's good that we found that. Oh, Ka subscribed. Hey, Ka. Welcome to the stream. Thanks so much for subscribing. Are there any puzzles that we have missed? There's gotta be, right? Grim have a sunken fireplace, broken, fallen in. Wait, what? Red stains, yeah, I, I knew there were red stains, okay. I, I, there's got to be some kind of, I think there's a puzzle somewhere, but I don't know, I'm not 100% sure where the puzzle is, right? Because there was that spooky looking room with like the demon, whatever, the, where I got all the books, but I, it just didn't seem like I could interact with anything. I can easily go back up there. I'll, I'll go do that right now, maybe, because we're, we're running circles right now. I don't want to waste everyone's time, right? So... Let's see what we can do. Just quickly get back over there. Cause there's gotta be, I, I, I am so sure there's gotta be something in that room that I'm missing. Cause it's like too ornate and special and has a shortcut. remember I looked at something that's like there's a frame on this this part of the the bookshelf or whatever yeah here right here okay so I can't interact with that hmm is there anything else in this room for me to rub on 
Oh, uh, beyond the lattice, you can see a narrow space and a small door. Maybe you can get there from another room. Possibly. This floor is this room is directly above the entrance. Eerie mask stares at anybody who enters the room. I I could have sworn there was like something about this. <laughs> and it just didn't make any sense at the time, and I didn't think about it. Let's see. Entrance to the room, there stands a demon in the entranceway. What would we possibly be able, what room would possibly have some sort of secret entrance that leads into a crawl space there? Guess we go this way and then see if maybe there's like a secret spot in the in this room for us to go through. Oh, I guarantee you it's something stupid like we mo move a bookcase. Okay, can't interact with that, so maybe not. Apollo says, settled in at home and ate Taco Bell. Good for you, Apollo. Live your best life. Eat as much Taco Bell as you want. Ah. <sighs> This is just very peculiar, right? Because it said there was like, I was like looking this way. So there's there's like a hidden passage right here, but I don't know how that exactly means. Like how, how we're supposed to get here because it, there doesn't look like there's anything in this room for me to like walk through like a hidden hallway. Maybe I have to put stuff uh, in like a certain order in that master's room. Oh, wrong way. This is just a guess. I that room just f there. There was some sort of text about there being some sort of shelf or some sort of like thing that prevented me a slab that prevented me from interacting with it and it's not letting me read it again so that, I mean I did pick up six books it does seem like some sort of thing I'm supposed to interact with so let's go over here let's test this out <laughs> okay and I did, uh, yeah, there are items in my inventory, so I must have to interact with them specifically. Am I missing one still? Huh. I am, I am very confused. We are in, okay, so we're in the master's room. All right. Oop, sorry. Maybe I have to interact with something else? Do I have to interact with this again? Nope. 
Is it the spooky masks, maybe? Something in the corner of the room covered with a cloth. You can see what looks like feet under the cloth. Okay. More spooky masks. Look at my items. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I have all six. Because it looks like, I mean, I can't, I guess I can do this. Yeah, there are like, there are slots here for me to put stuff in, right? One, two, three, four, five. There's five slots, so why can't I interact with this? I am very puzzled. I guess we'll just have to keep moving. Let's go forward. Maybe we need to go back to that other room. <clears throat> uh, Kettle says, any chance Ghost Boy would have any info for us? I can't leave the house. Doesn't let me when I try to leave. So we can't, unfortunately, ask Ghost Boy for any assistance at the moment. What we will do is we'll go across the the entranceway to the other side where we can uh walk up and down the stairs to the hammer place again i guess make sure there's no other entrances no there's not okay so we'll we'll go up the stairs here I'm sure I'm just missing something very simple. Is 
this where we wanted to go? Yeah, this is where I wanted to go. Any instruments here probably used for the ceremony. Back of the altar is Buddha's. Okay, we need that. Oh, there's an upstairs here. I forgot about this. There we go. <laughs> we made it. We found our we found our way forward. Camera equipment. The C power up lens. All right, I know how that works. Uh, that's the one that allows us to see ghosts um, for longer. So we did it. Yay. Sorry to all the viewers that, that got off the channel while I was confused. When you stepped on the pattern on the floor, you felt it sink down a little. Aha, uh -huh. that is how we go through the lattice. An old diaries on the table. The time of the ritual is coming soon. Itsuki and Mutsuki's ritual didn't work, and this year it's our turn. I'm leaving the village with you. Itsuki will help us escape, and we'll be together forever like I promised. The truth is, I don't want to run, but as long as I can be with you, I'll follow you anywhere. Just don't leave me here alone. Sae. Yae ran, so Sae was probably left alone. Huh. Thanks. Aha! I was wrong. It's just like Itsuki said. Munakata's teacher is going to be at a... to be a hellmouth. He's gonna be a hellmouth, I guess. Munakata's teacher is going to be a blank. This has to stop. People like Mutsuki shouldn't have to die. I have to do something. A veiled priest took one of the cell keys to the rope temple. It seems father plans to make that man a blank, even though he's Munakata's teacher. I know one cell key is hidden in father's bookshelves. To keep blank appeased, there's only one thing to do. If we perform the crimson sacrifice, perhaps people won't suffer like this. Sae. Nice. Ooh. What happened? Oh no, my is okay. Koe ga kikoe runo. Can you hear my voice? Kikoe nai? You don't hear me? I don't know if she was specifically talking about herself or just a generic voice, but that is what was being said there. Looks like my confusion dropped us quite a few viewers. Ah, uh, sorry everyone. Okay. Uh, which way can we go now? Just up and through. Yep. <clears throat> okay. I have a pretty clear idea of what we need to do now. Apollo says, those cloth physics are hot. Yeah, PS2 era cloth physics. Pretty advanced for the time. Genuinely kind of impressive. for that. Sorry, for a moment, I will turn down the volume so that you don't need to deal with the horrible ringing. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's above us. 
It's like over here. Come on, Mio. Mayu, come on. I'm gonna die because he's using ranged attacks. Get away. I'm still using the crappy ammo. That's my bad. I should fix that. <laughs> this will do much better. We hit him so good we smacked him out of bounds. Dude. All right, we took care of the ghost. Did we? We did. Okay, we did. Woo. We got another spirit orb. Good for us. Okay, now we can just upgrade this freely whenever we want to, so that's good. So it was something about the the father holding the key, right? Here we go. Oh, perfect. There are some empty bookshelves over the Buddha statue. Writing is inscribed into the wood. Engrave the crimson butterfly to seal up something. If there is no sacrifice, repent with a kusabi. Put the books on the bookshelf. Oh, okay. Engrave the crimson butterfly to seal up blank. If there is no sacrifice, repent with a kusabi. Okay. Uh, read the text. So, the f this is the order it must be, right? So, crimson butterfly blank sacrifice repent kusabi so it should be crimson wing tome taboo tome what was the third one repent no sacrifice okay so twin because the twins could sacrifice disaster ritual Aha! We found something uh, 
Nice. Okay, we got... Mio nan demo nai. That's a really weird thing to say. <laughs> it's a really weird way to say that, but... I mean, it does mean Mio, never mind, but the, the actual line delivery there was kind of odd. Alright, we did it. Yippee. I like how Mayu just kind of watches. She's just like, eh, eh, can't be fucked to deal with this. <laughs> All right, now we should be able to get through the door at the end of this hall. Nice work, us. Taffia says, I'm back. Internet is not really playing nice this evening. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, my power went out a few days ago because of all the rain in California. So I, I deeply sympathize. Oh, I didn't even get a fatal frame for that. Come on. Let's go. See if we can make something happen. Oh, almost. It kind of auto-targets it if I'm within range. Oh no. Surprisingly hard to get that combo shot. Alrighty, cool, we did it. Bye. Oh, we glitched through the door. Oh, because the ghost. If was to come to this, if it was to come to this, we should have done the ritual. Hey, wait, what? Two padlocks in the cell door. Oh. <laughs> The doors aren't loading because I glitched into them. <laughs> That's quirky. So the subtitles there say Miu, I, I knew, or Mio, I knew, but it actually, what she said is Miu, I suddenly remembered. Dan dan omoi dashite kita. A memory came back to me suddenly. Beneath the table, there's a Japanese girl doll looking this way. Look at that, a really, really photogenic picture of that man. The inside of the tree is hollow, a wooden key is inside. Hammer design, Osaka house map, nice. Okay, hey, we got the hammer key, which is what we were looking for, right? Type 90 film as well. Ooh, we're spoiled. All right, just pretend that a uh, door is opening. PS2 games were weird, okay? <laughs> oh no! 
We saw like flashes of this in the opening. And that's how she got her leg injury. This is such good framing. That's so cool. You tried calling, but there was no answer. You'd better hurry up and get the keys. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna fiddle with a setting really quickly and just see if I can get the door to toggle. Nope. It has nothing to do with... <laughs> oh, interesting. So, the error where where the, the glitch where the doors appear, ha uh, disappear, has nothing to do with the emulator. It's strictly to do with the game. I triggered a glitch. Ooh, I am not a fan of <laughs> this design, the sound. Ooh, it's so creepy. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh god, ghost children ghosts. Indeed, the true hell portal was the doors we lost along the way. We got that right. There's some kids. Oh no. 
Oh no. There we go. This is an interesting, weird, like, puzzle hide-and-seek fight. They have to walk up to them to, like, dismiss certain ghosts, and then once they get a certain, like, amount close to them, they'll attack. Like that. <laughs> There's one of them down. Where are the others? They said, uh, Tapia says, I don't know if this is a me thing, but these uh, heartbeat sounds are really distressing. Yeah, no, it's just unsettling. <laughs> it's definitely a little bit uncomfortable. We took care of that one. Where is the last one? There he is. This kid's got some more health, so we'll need to uh, hurt him a few more times. Just exercise these ghosts, these, these kid ghosts. It's fine. How annoying. This is a hard fight. Well, if not hard, time consuming because there are so many. Come on, where 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 are they now? All right, there we go. We we beat the kids. For what purpose? <laughs> what benefit did that give us? I guess it gave us points, right? Exorcism points. Relatively low impact exorcism points. Sure, we wasted a bunch of uh, film, but it is what it is. Uh, which way are we going? Yeah, okay. I'm following where I'm supposed to go. Because it's like right through here, I think, right? I can't get in these doors anymore, I don't think, because I need both of us, right? Let's check real quick. Because this just brought us to that altar room anyway, right? Yeah. We're trying to find the well, the room with the well in it, so that we can leave and go to the Osaka house to get a key that will open the cell that Mayu's imprisoned in. 
if I'm understanding correctly. So yes, I think this is the door. Is this the door we want? Yes, it is. Okay. This girl's really tripping balls if she thinks that she's opening doors right now. She's just on something. They were foraging for mushrooms in the woods, and this is what happened. Wait, what? I'm so confused. I thought I was just down the... I thought I was on the bottom floor. I thought this was the door that will lead to where we wanted to go. Am I crazy? Am I just bad at reading a map? Yes, I am. Okay. Right, so I think we go this way. No, hold on. How the heck do I get back to that, the, the room with the well in it? I thought that was the room, I thought it was right through there, but this will lead me to the connecting corridor, which doesn't allow me to get to the underground cellar. Why is this so confusing to me? Aha, we have to, wait, we have to go outside? Yeah, I guess we have to go outside. That is not how I remember getting there. Huh, okay. I, so I, I have not lost it. I This is not the way to go. Okay. I was very confused for a bit. <laughs> Alright, here we go. That's my mistake for thinking that there was a separate floor in between these two floors. <coughs> so I guess coming in here didn't really do anything for us. Yeah. They didn't drop anything. We just fought a bunch of kids for no reason. We literally just fought kids. <laughs> you heard it here first. Mio bullies kids. Alright, so I must be able to go outside now because I, uh... I was able to, or rather, it wants me to go outside to get into the grounds again, I think, so. Time to just go out and, oh, all the cloth is gone too. I really, I, wait, what? I'm confused then, how the heck do I get in here? To get to the underground cellar.
It says warehouse hallway. Oh, that's where we're supposed to go. Okay. I understand now. I understand where we need to go. We need to go to the warehouse, which is where, which is like this room. Yes, okay, I understand now. So if we look, uh, We'll go out of the storage room, through the cloth hall the way, all the way down to the warehouse, which is where Mayu was imprisoned. I took the wrong exit. I'm definitely gonna save my game and then reload <laughs> to see if I can get doors and cloth back. Because the game definitely looks pretty different without that stuff. Alright, this is the way we need to go. I was so confused because I thought that's what we were doing this whole time. Here we go. <laughs> this is better. Oh, How shameful. Sorry, viewers. literally right here this whole time all right I'm gonna save and then reload and we will see oh come on I use like 30 shots of ammo in the kid fight We did it, we killed it, yay. Oh no. The save point also disappeared. <laughs> oh, this could be bad, okay. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to uh, load that file and see if we can't get that fixed. Oh no. Oh no. All right. <laughs> we might have to we might have to see what's what's going on here. Let's see. Let me check something really quick. <laughs> Let me let me restart my my machine here. <laughs> Do 
Not another bug. At least this time, it's not a frame of the video that's that's fatal to the game running. This is true. I'm I'm wondering if I like hit a button on my keyboard by mistake that like toggled transparency. No. Okay, we got it back. We got it back, everyone. Look at that. <laughs> We're definitely gonna save again, just in case. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so good at video games that I accidentally discovered a, a, an out of bounds clip that unloads all of the geometry. <laughs> All right, there we go. Hammer key. All right, let's move forward, right? We have to now find a key that is imprisoning Mayu. The flashlight came on, but it wouldn't come on in the house. The flashlight came on. All right, we got out of there. Now we need to go to the Osaka house, which I think was the house that was locked across the sky bridge of the other one. So. I can't believe we, we found that glitch. That's so funny to me. That could have been really game breaking. Maybe that's why it wouldn't let me interact with stuff. Maybe I had triggered this earlier than I thought. That's funny. Uh, so Tafia says, question, what is the gameplay benefit of the flashlight? If any, it doesn't seem like the game is that dark, so I'm assuming it does something. Uh, for me, the game is very dark. For the stream, it looks a lot brighter. Um, and it's because of how my overlay is set up and how it, it uh, reads the video from, uh, from OBS. Uh, oh. Dang, I missed that chance. That's so spooky and cool. Um, so I'm playing the game on an actual CRT. Uh, like I can take it. I'll take a picture and I'll post it on Twitter. So if people aren't following me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. And it will kind of highlight the uh, the difference in what I see versus what all of you see. Oh no, I'm signed out of Twitter for some reason. Weird. But basically, uh, the flashlight does make a difference for me compared to other people um, who are watching the stream right now. On top of that though, no, it doesn't really serve a huge purpose. <laughs> uh, even even with the the game being dark uh, for me, it mostly is a visual thing. Like I can see stuff more easily because that would otherwise be like other like kind of difficult to see like boundaries here on the walls or like when I shine my light here, it's like very, very helpful because I can see the actual line of the wall where I have to turn. Splinter says, I bet it's Elon's fault. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> Wait, what? Didn't I get the key to go in there? That's where I had to go, right? Door seems to be locked. I guess I'll have to... Oh, I have to go speak to Itsuki, probably. 
Oh, I'm not even at the right house. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Here we go. Wait, this one's locked too? What? <laughs> I thought I got the, the key thing or whatever. I thought... Huh. Did I forget to pick something up? Let me look at my map. Lighting screen room. All right, and that will lead somewhere. Maybe we have to go back around from that house that we started in, maybe? That's probably the case. Oh no, this is the film room. Oops, I forgot about this. Maybe I can go up the back here though. Okay, door is locked here too. Okay, we'll we'll just go out and uh we probably need to talk to Ghost Boy. That's my my prediction. Let's go speak to uh I don't know which one it is. Itsuki, I guess. Is that his name? It's either Itsuki or Mutsuki, one of the two. Uh I need to find which one. This way. All right, that house doesn't open. Oh yeah, there's no way I can I can catch up with her. <laughs> Kettletip says, oh yeah, it's spooky out here. Yeah, did you forget? <laughs> Don't go that way. It's the other way. Really me. I keep forgetting. I keep thinking that the, the village form is like flipped. Is from the perspective of like going into the the jail that Itsuki's in, uh, it looks like it should be the other direction. Yeah. Okay. That's where I think we need to go. <laughs> Wait, that didn't count. Did she just like barely walk out of my my view? That sucks. Oh no, I got the picture because it said storehouse bound. We should have done the ritual. Say she ki wo ga. Butterfly diary. Yai, why did you leave by yourself? It's our fault that this is happening to Itsuki. You promised we'd always be together. Fluorite. Oh, we got more fluorite. Okay, we'll listen to that in a minute. Yeah. Kochi. The cell key. I think they keep it at the Osaka house. Break the pinwheel seal to get to the basement of that house. Search the family altar. It has some kind of mechanism. Make all four sections of the pinwheel the same color. That'll open the underground door. If you don't give up, you'll certainly be able to get out. 
Yeah. Interesting. I just wanted to see if that gave me anything. It does not. So many crimson butterflies all around. So, so far I've been really uh, fascinated by the fact that we're getting a lot of type 74 ammo. At one point I had 70, or I had 99. Now I'm at like 74 or something, I think. Probably less than that, 51. Uh, but this game just like gives us ammo. We have unlimited ammo to use that isn't type 14, type zero. Um, wait, which one is Osaka house? I don't remember. Oh, this one is, okay. The one we started in, right? Not crazy, yeah. those shadows so good <clears throat> I'm gonna make a quick save in here just to make sure we don't miss nothing voices in my headphones this isn't good I'm gonna get ganked by a ghost again all right we have a bunch of women's kimonos in there once again opposed to men kimonos everything is just women's clothing here wait a minute hold on Family altar room. How do I get back over there? Oh, I go up and around. Okay. Oh wait, no, this is the the wrong area. What? heck was that uh kettle chips asks do i have a kimono no they are extraordinarily expensive uh i have worn them many many times when i lived in japan we we used to have to wear them for formal events but uh i do not own one i have a lot of jinbei jinbei are comfortable but that's not really it's not really the same sort of thing I'm for fursuit kimono. I would die. I would overheat instantly. <laughs> what? Kimono are so warm. <laughs> now, I don't have a yukata either. Um, those are generally more comfortable. More, they're like summer wear, more or less. Um, by comparison, kimono are generally worn. You can, you get, there are summer kimono and stuff, but generally you see them more often in winter. Um, but yeah, I don't know if, I don't know if I could wear really any sort of Japanese clothing other than maybe a Jinbei when I'm in fursuit. That would be, that would be hard. <laughs> Is this it? Nope, but there's stuff here. Alarm. Function is equipped that sounds a tone to warn you the exact fatal frame moment. Ooh, that could be useful. She's still just standing there, poor lady. So far, one of the things that I haven't really talked about yet is just how many pieces of this game feel like remakes of parts from the first game so like that room in full is the first room you have to use the camera in in fatal frame one 
like with the open look into the garden and the uh, brazier or whatever it's called brazier uh, brazier brain got confused for a second flowers in the alcove they were withered but it looks like they're placed there recently okay there's something on the floor type zero film Ooh. 12 sheets Okay, tried to pull on it. The door is broken. Huh. So how do we get in there? Oh, I'm like in the room I need to be in. Family altar. There's a pinwheel or something in here, right? Make all the pinwheels the same color. only have four turns oh no oh I see there are mortuary tablets and incense burners on the family altar what unlocked is it something here is it this right next to it this nope all right something in here nope. is it something here nope Is there like a different door in this room? Oh, there was, okay. Cool, we got through. Looks like it could be in it. Oh. Woo, caught that ghost. I already have a stone mirror. Another one cannot be carried. The game is expecting me to be dead by now. I have like, I have like 20 healing items. <laughs> Film reel seven, ooh. in this this empty ass box <laughs> oh my god <laughs> huh how pleasant they just want to help I kind of like Mio as a uh, as a horror game protagonist. She's kind of cold. Like she holds it together pretty well. Ow. Whoa, that guy has long reach. What the I'm 
on the I'm on the cheap film again. Oops. <coughs> Dang, I only got a core shot. It'll take me. Nice. I was gonna actually let him kill me so that I could just pick up the stone mirror, but I guess we'll just have this one here in case we ever need it. It's not like we're running low on full heal <laughs> medicine. Alright, uh, Dome Rail 7 and a rusty key. Alright, so we have a few things to do now. We can go back and hopefully see what's on the other side of the Osaka house, right? Or the Kiryu house, I mean. Something. There we go. Sometimes when I uh, use, I have my uh, facial pin. Oh God, she's here. What is she doing trying to hurt me? I was nothing but kind to her. Oh! <laughs> oh, reflexes. Where is she? Come on. Oh. All right, maybe I'll use maybe I'll use the uh, healing mirror on her. No, I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed. <laughs> Quick drawing seems to be actually really powerful. Oh, I can control the the height of the flashlight. I didn't realize that. It's kind of neat. <laughs> All right, we took care of her. Give me another spirit orb. Let me let me have some goodies. No. Game's being stingy now. She doesn't drop anything in here, does she? Nope. Alrighty. Uh, all we have to do is exit the house now. <clears throat> Splinter says, I like those old timey resistor filament uh, lamp tubes. I like them as well. I like the sound they make when they fizzle out. 
we have the key we need, I think. I don't want to have to walk all the way back down there, so we're gonna full heal. We have plenty of herbal medicine, so I'm not too concerned. Oh, such a spooky atmosphere. Ugh. <laughs> All right, first we have to check out the new uh, film reel we got. Whatever happened to film reels two through six? What are we looking? Oh god, that's a face. Oh no, I hate the way that looks. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's just grandma. It's okay, everyone. Don't be scared. It's fine. It was just grandma. She was in the closet again. Interesting. Okay. We do in fact just use it upstairs, I think. Oh, I can't use the key in here? Wait, where do we use the key then? Oh, we can use it to open Mayu's cell. Okay. I thought we needed to use it to get into that house to get the key to open Mayu's cell. Silly me. Alrighty. Let's move forward to the best of our ability, shall we? What do you think, cat? My cat doesn't agree. She's sleeping. She's uninterested. Kettle says, it's okay, I also forgot about Mayu. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. It's as you said, she is kind of dead weight. Oh, don't, don't go in there. Fatal frame. <laughs> Oh no. I really need to be better about not falling into enemies. That lasts for a really long time. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't count. Alright, I'm recovering. I'm doing okay. 
there she is. Ah. I could have gotten a fatal frame off that camera. I don't understand what stands for a just kill and what doesn't because I managed like that says to me I dealt the exact amount of damage I needed to kill them but that was 60 points that was pretty low I feel like that should have been one if that was the case <clears throat> holy smokes I have a lot of uh, <laughs> I have a lot of points all right uh, function power up we're gonna do sensitivity well we have our our sensitivity as powered up as it can be that upgrades its basic strength let's save really quick Oops. Alright, so we just hit four hours playing the game. This, I feel like we're making good progress. If I had to guess, we're probably halfway through, which makes me think I won't be able to finish it tonight. But also really impresses me because I beat the first game in six hours. <laughs> so I feel like this one, if it's that much longer, that's pretty impressive. Especially for just like a sequel flashlight went out flashlight goes out when I entered this house in particular Oh, I got a spirit orb. Oh, you've got to be kidding me Two of these guys Oh So Kettle asks, how late are we going tonight? Uh, until I get tired, I guess. Midnight-ish. As I said, it's my Friday. Should be fine. Oh, shoot, forgot I have to back up. Don't hit me. I'm wasting ammo on these guys again. That's my mistake. <laughs> Kettle Chip says, solid, I'll hunker down and bake, lol. Hell yeah. Alright, uh, and I, again, didn't get anything for doing that, so I hope, <laughs> I hope I have to do that, because wasting that much ammo on, like, a, a thing that I don't need to do would be depressing. Alright, uh, function power up. I need 20,000 for higher blast, so... So I think the way the upgrades work, spirit power in this game, when it says like it will increase the amount you can accumulate, I think that means it increases my ammo for my, my special blast, which I should be using more because it does like double damage. Can't see Mayu from the window. Maybe she's in the back of the cell. All right, she's not gonna be in here. Yep, that's that's a, that's what no Mayu looks like. Nige, I can't I can't actually read this. This is so small. 
All right. Uh, something's written on the wall. Run and are you going to leave me again in Japanese? The old piece of paper is on the table. Something is written on it. Itsuki, I'm so sorry. I want to see you and tell you how sorry I am. I'm sorry about Chitose too. Looks like Mai is writing. Interesting. So it is Itsuki. Interesting. Wow, this is taking forever. <laughs> I forgot how much more slowly she walks. She's she's Miku speed. Oh. Mata. I I can't actually read that. I saku no iteku no. Ah, uh, oh, oyete iku no. Are you going to leave me again? Nope, not this way. What a weird vibe. Come on, let me hop this pole. our best now to uh, make as much headway as we can. I think if we, I mean, there is, I guess, a small chance that we could finish in the next two hours because two hours in this game goes a really long way. But my guess would be this is going to be a two, two episode game, which is fine by me. <gasps> New goodies. They've respawned. Oh, look at that. Uh, Splinter says, do you have a YouTube channel with the VODs or are they just on Twitch? Uh, I do have a YouTube channel with the VODs. Uh, if you want, I can, I can post the link. If you scroll up slightly in chat, you will see that Nightbot posted the link earlier. Uh, it is just youtube.com slash at toasted ringtail, uh, just like my, my Twitter and my Twitch, but, uh, nothing is live yet. I'm waiting for some videos to render, uh, the... I managed to be able to uh, upload the VODs for just Fatal Frame uh, 1. So I guess uh, 
this is worth noting chained echoes is going to be more of a stream exclusive i guess because i don't feel like excising all the footage uh, and re-uploading it and stuff Oh no, get the camera out. But uh, what I was saying was uh, Chain Echoes will be more of a stream exclusive. I don't think that's going to go on YouTube. It, if I really get the the urge to do so, I'll excavate the episodes and try my best to get them separated. But it's a it's a huge amount of work to get them off of Twitch. Um, that being said, I think Fatal Frame One will be the first Let's Play uh, that I've uh, art like managed to actually archive the vods for. But once uh, once it's all uploaded and stuff, I'll set it all public in like a playlist. Okay, so I can't get in this way. Okay. Seeing her do that makes me just immediately think like, she's like a, a fish. She's like, just like opening her mouth and closing it. She's like a guppy, look at her. <laughs> I got a ton of points for that. Not bad, me. You didn't drop anything, no. Okay. Got it. Heck yeah. Then Earth must be underground. What the heck does that mean? Folklore's five. Oh, it's the missing one. The Kiryu house and the Tachibana house are linked by connecting corridor called the Twin Houses. The Twin Shrine Maidens will stay there before the ceremony and are apparently cleansed there too. During the cleansing, they are not allowed to go outside, but they may pass freely between the houses. The bridge on the second floor of the Tachibana house is called the Heaven Bridge, and the bridge in the basement of the Kiryu house is called the Earth Bridge. Oh, so the Earth, Earth Bridge is underground. I get it now. The passageway is a natural cave under the village. At its deepest point lies a forbidden place. Only a certain class of veiled priests and people called the Mourners may enter. It seems that the gate to hell is there, and the forbidden ritual is actually performed underground. All right, nice. Oh, we have some crystals. We've got we've got crystals to listen to. Let's do that really quickly. I totally forgot about this. We have a ton of them. Don't leave her alone, chat. <laughs> Man, these are so grim. <laughs> I, huh. <laughs> I mean, technically by the lore of this game, right? People were clutching these, these stones and thinking really hard into them until all of a sudden they died. That's apparently how this works.
Oh my god. In the space beneath the staircase, pieces of wall and wood fragments have fallen down. Okay. I was hoping that maybe I could go downstairs and get underground, but I guess that was wishful thinking. Huh? Oh, I forgot to take the projector. There we go. Okay, so that door's also locked. you touch a house are linked underground in the basement of the Kiryu house is the earth bridge okay that's what I thought so am I in the Kiryu house right now I am so how do I get to the basement can't go that way can't go there Oh, so that's the way out. Gotcha. Okay. Huh. Kind of curious. Do I just need to go back out the door now that I read that? And it will allow me through? Ah, I, I see. There's a hidden door. Or there, wa there was a hidden door that was revealed by me reading that note. It all makes sense now. It all comes together. Like right here, right? No. Oh, I mean... It's not down here. It's on the other side. <laughs> okay. I'm not crazy. I looked at the right thing. I, I did not understand what I was looking at. <laughs> oh, no. All right. I'm getting survival horror brained right now. It's just, it's wrecking my ability to critically think. Entering man. What a name. Are you kidding me? Are you joking me right now? Different place shows in the photo. We know where this is. The more I've gotten accustomed to this game, the like more calming and relaxing it has become. I'm like really in the swing of it right now. I'm enjoying it quite a bit.
an image of a person shows in the photo. There we go, we did it. Man, what a far cry from the, uh, the really obnoxious, like, take pictures of things to burn talismans mechanic of the, uh, the first game. <laughs> this is, like, basically the same thing, but applied way, way less commonly and with actual, like, connections to stuff, whereas before it would be, like, in order to open this door, you need to photograph this random piece of rubble. In this, it's like, the well has a connection underground. It's a secret passage that only the twin maidens, or the shrine maidens, are allowed to use. Oh, chapter six, the remaining. I see nothing? Ooh. All right, I got it. I got them points. Back here, nothing? Okay. It sounded like she just said wait. Someone said wait. I can't hear it over the sound of the footsteps. Though. I took pictures of what looks like a hanging body, so I'm going to need to do an apology video now. Excellent. We needed a little bit more type 14 film. Type 17? Type 14? Remember exactly. Type 14, I think. I don't want to kill. Kuroshitakunai. Kuroshitakunai kurashiku. Ah. Kuroshitakunakata. I didn't want to kill. I don't want to kill. <laughs> Tapius says cancelled. R.I.P. Yep, I've been cancelled now because I... It's me and Logan Paul. You know what they say. Two people wronged by society. Two, two people just trying to make content. Clearly the two things that we did are exactly the same. Nice. Lots of herbal root medicine. It was Logan Paul that did the Aoki Gahara thing, right? I don't... Am I remembering that correctly? I don't remember which one of those brothers does, does the worst stuff. They're both pretty despicable. Beyond them, there's a pair of dolls. Everything seems to come in pairs in this room. Interesting. Small mirrors are lined with red cloths. Understood. It's broken, but it appears to be a wind-up clock. Okay. Interesting. Herbal medicine. Nice. That's good for us. What did this one say again? There's a beautiful folding screen standing behind the, uh, the chest of drawers. There's a picture of crimson butterflies fluttering below the flowers on it. Gotcha. Then we have the wind-up clock. That's it. No, I missed the chance. Logan or Jake? I can't. Yeah, Tafia says he can't tell them apart. Me, me. I have no idea either. All I know is that they're both blonde, and they're really annoying. My hands closed around Azami's neck. 
It was soft, warm, alive. My grip seemed to cause her so much pain. At the very end, the veiled priest came to help me. But Azami said she wanted only me to do it. I became one with Azami, but now she's gone. I can't talk about it anymore. Father brought Azami back. All I could do was apologize. She forgave me. The killing is over now. No more. I'll never hurt anyone again. I'll never let anyone kill again. Father says Azami has been possessed, and he's trying to kill her. He's trying to kill Azami. I won't let him do it. I won't let that happen anymore. Break the cycle of violence. Blue crystal. Maybe this belongs to the girl that was sitting here. Let's see what she has to say, shall we? That sounds about right. Beware the remainder. Interesting. So the remaining twin becomes kind of nuts. So this must be Azami and her sister. can't kill them, I just need to run. I don't do damage. That's fine. Who can do that? Held shut by some powerful force. Oh no. There we go. Why kill? Why kill bad? Toaster is a bully, yes. Oh. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Get away from me. I can only hurt one of them. There we go. Probably a zombie. Get her. Yeah, I have to. I have to. I can only target a zombie. Is what it looks like. Fifty-six ammo, though. Oof, that's rough. Bullying woman in kimono's little sister girl in kimono. Yeah, sorry. I didn't. I don't mean to be mean to girl in kimono, but unfortunately. Oh, she's just standing right there. Akane damaged the mechanism. Akane and Azami. That makes sense. Uh, it took apart the doll. I have to restore the twin doll to normal and drop the possessed doll of Azami into the Hellmouth to spend, send the spirit back to Hell. But that path was the only way to...
What room is that? Family altar. Do I have to go all the way back? Two buttons carved with family crests on the box-like structure of the doll. I tried pressing them, but nothing happened. Okay, I really don't want her to just be panting the whole time. I have 30 type 90 film. That's not bad. <coughs> Alright. <coughs> Let's try to find this family altar. Wait, which, let's see, which room are we supposed to go to? We probably have to go there, yeah. Undid the lock on the door. Okay, now we have access to... Oh, this room. Oh, how pleasant. Okay. Already in here. Okay, let's go this way. This is the door we came out of. Is there anything? Okay, this is the area I didn't check yet. Film reel four. Oh, nice. Okay, so now we can go use this. Have I been down this way? I must have, right? Oh, no. There we go. Alrighty, we're good now. Alright, let's go look at the uh, film really quickly. I just want to see what's on it. See what we can do. I wonder if using all the film gives us like some sort of quest. If it's like some sort of side quest, right? Like we watch all the films, we get a different ending. We watch all the films, we get some items. Go to the surveyor's location, get to do a lot of different stuff. Four, here we go. One, seven, four. Some kind of earthquake happened. Something broke. Ritual, it looks like. That's one of them. That's Sae, I guess, right? Because Yae was the one who left. Interesting. <laughs> Kettle Chip says, the cuts in this film are whack. You're telling me, man. Yeah, very bad. Very poor editing. Can't recommend. This film is getting two stars on my letterbox. Wait a second. Is this a door? What the heck is this? Ain't never been in here. Fire the editor. He's a hack. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I need the director's cut of this footage. All right, chat, let's see. Ooh, safe point. We love those.
Are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> Why me? Ooh, more shotgun film. I'm saving that as much as I possibly can because <laughs> having no good film at the end of the last game was such a curse. <laughs> Taffia says, in before it's seven hours long, referring to the director's cut. Hey, I mean, who, who needs studio meddling, right? Like, <laughs> give me the director's true vision. I want the 4-3 Snyder cut of this. looking at me. Where's the ghosty in this room? Why kill? Why kill? Okay. Yeah. I can't. I can't really make out what this guy is saying. Uh, excuse me. What? What was that sound? Please, no. Oh, spooky. The pot's broken. His shards lie. This is gonna be a real stunner. Oh no. Tafia says, oh god, some people tried to get me to sit through the Snyder Cut. I couldn't manage it. It was too long. Maybe if it was released as a two-parter. Uh, yeah, it was pretty long. I I am not a fan of the Snyder Cut uh, as like a movie, but I did sit all the way through it. And uh, yeah, that was rough. <laughs> that, was, that was a pretty rough four hours. And I'm like cool with long movies. Like they do not bother me at all. These are all saying the same things that we saw the last time we investigated them. <clears throat> yeah, Apollo hates cape stuff. I'm really into it. I like superheroes, but uh, Apollo does not. Apollo asks, does the Snyder Cut fix the movie? No, it's still a bad movie. <laughs> Wait, I thought this was the dolls. I thought these were the dolls I needed. Am I wrong? Kettle, <laughs> Kettle says, Apollo, you could rock a cape so hard. Apollo could rock a cape. Apollo's a dime. We can't, we can't forget that. He puts Henry Cavill to shame. Uh, let's see. Couldn't go in here before. Now we can. I guess we'll just keep going. I guess we just keep going. Wait, this door's... Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, get off of me. Oh my god. Ah! 
Kettle Chip says, that one is obviously a Kane. How can you tell the difference? Oh, I got both of them. Because it makes a sound. No. Uh. Tathias says, I used to love long films, binging Netflix, but it's been a while since I've been able to sit through anything more than a couple hours. Maybe it's just the context being put out. I knocked out Queen's Gambit in one sitting when that released. Queen's Gambit's really good. <laughs> I mean, it helps that it's really good. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, I relate to that. Uh, I have actually fallen behind on TV. There's been nothing really lately that's been super capturing my attention. Uh, which is really unfortunate for me because I work in film, <laughs> so it's important that I I stay on top of stuff. But I just have not um, have not been doing that, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. I used to watch it pretty much everything that aired, every notable series that aired each week. I I watched, um, and then I also was at the movie theater like three times a week. So it was a it was a whole thing that I used to have to. I say have to, that I used to do to keep up for work, but I don't really do it anymore. There just hasn't been any TV that's like really captured my attention lately. Apollo, uh, oh, I did really like uh, Clara, I think is what it was called. It was a spy thriller on Netflix. That was pretty good. I watched all of that in one sitting. Uh, Apollo says, you like the Cat and Shoes movie? I did. I thought Puss in Boots was good. Uh, talking about Puss in Boots is hard because some people really liked it. And for me, I mostly just thought it was really pretty. I thought it was very, very pretty. Um, but it also is like a kid's movie. And it, it is as good as a kid's movie can be, you know? Ooh, Sacred Water. Still haven't had to use that yet. Mm. Really not a huge fan of the weird doll speech sound that just happened in my headphones. I don't know if you all can hear that. There's like a whis the really quiet whispering sometimes where uh, I can hear someone talking and it, it messes me up every time. Uh, Taffia says, that's cool you work in film. Yeah. Technically, yes, but uh, part of my job is still working with film studios and uh, film distribution uh, groups, basically, to monitor their releases and their premieres. Uh, a lot of promotional marketing happens on... primary aspect of my job which is market which is what I do so <laughs> Boot cat says time to see what's been giving me whack dreams for the several hours for the past several hours yeah that's this
Alrighty, keep moving. out of the window. That's good. Oh, she'll fall down on me again. Good Cat says, my favorite anecdote from my career so far is still the one where they told you not to bring up feet in a conversation with Tarantino. That did, in fact, happen, yes. I was working on marketing for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and we were told you were not allowed to bring up the topic of feet on conference calls. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, film reel three. Perfect. Bodumene. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it looks Italian. Yeah, man, all of these are just like, dying sucks. I don't want to die or be imprisoned. <laughs> like, me neither. <laughs> I don't think anyone does, but... <laughs> oh, wait, where the heck? What did this get for me? Wait. Where am I? What am I doing? Hold on. Let me see. That's the storeroom. That's the place we enter, basically. Oh, there, there it is. Oh, okay. I was looking for the family altar. I was confused. I thought we'd already been down here, though. Webs cover the family altar. There seems to be space on either side. There seems to be space on either side of the altar, but it's so dark you can't see. 
What do you mean it's so dark I can't see? I have a flashlight in my hand. <laughs> what do I need to do here then? Hold on. Mortuary tablet, rosary, prayer bead. Looks like a sutra written in the open book, you, but you can't read it. Do I just need to take a picture? Is that all I need to do? I was already there, right? Okay. I guess let's go back to the projector room and use the new projector because we haven't, we got a new film reel, didn't we? So we'll just go do that. That is this way, right? No, it is not this way. Projector room is way back there. Okay, we can go do that. Do our best here, try to make as much progress as we can. This way. Which is basically the way it just came from. Oh, but I know what I I know the issue. I forgot there was a door on this side. That's why I was stuck. Now here we take a right, we go to the projector room, which allows us to view the film reel we just got. Correct? Three. This is the new one. All right. Look at the cinematography on this home video from 1827. Incredible. Christopher Nolan would lose his mind. I am suddenly no longer sure what to do. Because we are technically in a different house now, aren't we? <laughs> Tafia says, my history is pretty spotty, but that date seems a bit sus. Yeah, I mean, it happens. Throw your, your, the date that you think cameras existed, were invented in chat. Film cameras. I'm so confused. <laughs> Splinter says, wow, is this the first video game flashlight that doesn't run out of batteries? So thanks for cheering with bits. Is that what that is? Nice, a 100 bits cheer. Thanks, Splinter. Looks very nice of you. That 
Ezra Good Cat says, didn't uh, Dr. Polar invent the Polaroid camera in 1735? Something like that. That sounds right. <laughs> Splinter says good content deserves to be rewarded. Thank you for saying that this is good content. <laughs> Alright, let's try our best to figure out uh, what else to do. Lamp lights the surface of the table, sliding screens, books about rituals and customs. I've like investigated everything. I need to get the the doll heads, I think, right? But I can't figure out can't figure out where I'm supposed to actually do that. trying to think the doll head room was in the other building maybe it's I don't know I don't know I don't remember <laughs> I just don't remember what we're supposed to do. I thought it was supposed to be to get the, the doll parts, but I can't fully figure it out. I can go across here now, can't I? Is that right? Or no? I do not remember if I unlocked this yet. Nope, I didn't, okay. Maybe I just missed something in the boss fight room. Maybe they dropped the doll parts. Good cat says Kodak cameras came around in the 1880s if I remember right. Sounds about right. Splinter says looking it up on Wikipedia the predecessor to the camera was the camera obscura uh, in the 16th century with the concept being described as early as 500 BC. Yeah so the camera obscura was a real camera basically as far as I know. Uh, or it's a real type of camera. Granted, it doesn't capture pictures of ghosts. Ghosts aren't real, but uh, it, as far as I know, oh, here we go. Oh, no, nothing in there. I thought that might have been something. Uh, I know that, like, the camera obscura itself is also, isn't that a term used to describe, like, chiaroscuro cameras? I don't really remember exactly, but I thought that was the case. Which room did I fight the the lady in? Huh? Lock hall. Oh, okay. It is through here. The first camera that could print images was 1795 or 1800. That also sounds about right. Good Cat says Camera Obscura is a setup of lenses that allows you to view a camera in a, uh, view in a scene in a specific way. That makes sense. Ah, uh, it's been used to view scenes to paint them. Back of the staircase is broken. Is there anything else in here?
You can see it being used in the girl with the painted earrings. Or the pearl earrings. The movie, I mean. Gotcha. Oh, interesting. Okay. Is there an, is that another staircase up? broken is there anything in here no <laughs> nope the lid of the box is stuck fast Did I pick up the doll parts? Nothing in here. Lid of the box is stuck fast. What the heck? But that's like the only place I haven't gone to yet. What is this way? Through here? Sliding screen room. Screen room. Connecting corridor. Oh, I need to open that. Or I should open that, I should say. Oh, I can't. That's why. That's where I am. Okay. Handrail is completely destroyed. to Tommy room. We already went in there. there. Wasn't anything to find. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought we killed her already. Did she respawn? Did I die and not realize it? says, damn girl, you clumsy. I just can't, I can't really do anything to her. I just have to wait. Stone mirror, that's good. That's good feeling. Wait, what the heck? She didn't even go into her counter stage there. There we go. Some damage. She's got so many active frames, it's crazy.
Ooh, I'm stuck. We killed her. I'm gonna go check the storeroom now because I wanna see if the box unlocks, but only after I beat her. Because that's the only place that she could be falling from other than this handrail, right? Maybe her corpse is in there? That solves the puzzle? It's my only guess. Because I didn't even realize this was here the first time I came in here. Nope. The lid of the box is stuck fast. What the heck? It doesn't look like there's anything for me to photograph in here, so why is this from special and why do I keep getting like a boss encounter enemy in it? Oh fuck, that was a waste of really honestly low ammo right now. This is not good. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything for... I don't have any doll items. I thought... Hmm. I guess let's just keep going the direction we were going. Try to see where to go from here. <laughs> Got the item from there. this way I cannot keep a map in my head to to save my life Tafia says mysterious coughing ghost very scary that is my husband brew <coughs> he's playing world of warcraft No, he's coughing. Correct. <laughs> Javius says, oh my god, I'm a dumbass. Did you actually think it was like a... Do you think it was a ghost in the game? <laughs> it's not. He's, he's playing World of Warcraft and he has a cold. <laughs> not a cold, he just... He recently ate. I think he's clearing his throat. Never mind. He's he's consuming adult uh, inhalation. There we go. That's what we'll call it. All right. Uh. Ah. Huh. I'm like I am so lost right now. I thought it would be obvious, but adult inhalation. It's like an adult beverage, but it's something you inhale. <laughs> Ka says inhaling vapor waves. Yes, exactly. Huh. 
I am I am very confused. This is all doll clothes. But I can't I can't interact with any of these dolls. There's nothing for me to touch here. There's no doll parts for me to pick up. <laughs> Kettle says I'm too hunkered down. I'm getting dumb. <laughs> That's just my my state of being at all times. I'm always dumb. Let's see. Oh, maybe it's here. Oh my god, finally we found the room that was that we were so lost during. <laughs> There's an old book in the drawer that was slightly open. I saw Azami even though she should be in the hole now. She was asking me to kill the Azami doll. I've made a grave mistake. The twins had at last become one again. I was wrong to make that doll. I think Azami was trying to tell me where the head and hands of the doll are hidden. They're hidden in a box somewhere in the house. Okay, so they are in that, oh my god. They're in that, uh, that box that's sealed. All right, so we know where to go now. God, I'm so dumb and I wasted so much ammo trying to find this room that I thought I already entered like 10 times. Thank God we got some more film. Which room are we going back to now? We're going back to doll room, which is not here. Okay. Not the hanging doll room. At least I don't think. Oh no, we need to go up. We need to go upstairs to get to the store room. That's what we're trying to do. Don't like that sound one bit. that looks like a human arm is on the ground where the girl was standing. Doll's right arm. Last night, I heard footsteps. I thought it was Akane, but it was really Azami walking by herself. Akane has set, spent so much time thinking of her sister, a spirit must have taken over the doll. It is said that when a spirit takes residence in a doll, it can steal the soul of others. Akane isn't a person anymore. She's like a doll, controlled by Azami. She keeps repeating, I don't want to kill, over and over. She looks so much like my daughter. Azami must be killed again. Can't interact with that now. Okay. Atheus says, do you need some brain cells? I only have two, but you can have one if you need. You should still be able to breathe with one. Yeah, I mean, that would be great if I could just have even one extra brain cell to use on solving this game's puzzles. And, and honestly, just navigating the map would be, would be great for me. I struggle to remember floor plans, so it's very, very hard for me to look at the map in this game and then immediately orient myself to where the directions on the map are in relation to where I am in the game. Wait, what? I thought this was the way out. Am I not allowed to go through here? There's some powerful force. What powerful force? 
Who did this to me? for me to interact with there. we have to go the long way around to get back to the other rooms. Oh, yeah. Just go through here. I hate that static sound. I keep thinking that I'm like walking into a room with something fancy. Got me pretty good game. Oh, <sighs> something that looks like a human head is on the ground where the girl is standing. Akane has become a remaining. To comfort her, I'll make a doll that looks like a zombie. She's been emotionless since the day of the ritual. I'll make the doll look exactly like a zombie so that when we they are together, no one will be able to tell them apart. Akane never leaves a zombie's side. Uh, even for a second, always whispering things to her. I don't know what she says, but at least she seems to be slowly returning to her former self. If we didn't have this ritual, Azami wouldn't have become a butterfly, and Akane wouldn't have lost her spirit. Wandering through pixels? Oh, Nox says, Oh nice, I can catch some of the stream in the morning. Yeah, welcome. I'm getting close to... to the end I think of this game but I'm not sure if I'm close enough to actually finish it tonight so that's its own problem <laughs> is this the room I need I want to go to no, I want to go down here. Oh. I am confused. How did I get all the way over here again? Or no, I don't want to go to the hanging doll room. I want to go to the doll room. Which is... Not this way. Right? No, it is. It's this way. This house is a maze. Wait, no. Isn't this the area I just came from? How do I make it back to the doll room? Where am I? I want to get back over here. Yeah. All way of contrasts. Okay, that is this way. Okay, I'm not I'm not crazy. We wanna go over here. There we go. Do our best now to Yes, we go down and around through the projector room. There's another child creeping around, I guarantee it. Where is he? Where is that fucker?
I don't like the baby crying sound. Ugh. There we go. Violet Diary 3. You don't need a substitute for me. I am part of Akane now. I am one with Akane. Kill it. Kill that stupid doll. Interesting. Um, excuse me? Forgot to take the film off the reel. It was going to start playing. That would have scared me very much. <laughs> there we go. I'm haunting myself now. This is correct. I inserted the head and the arms into the body. You put the doll together, but nothing happens. Eight. What does this do for me? Wait, which way am I going? Incorrect. I want to go the other way. It's all the, the windy hallways that all end up looking exactly the same. That's the part that's difficult to, to remember. this way I think right to get to the other doll room Tephius says must depart for the hours late be safe on your spooky ghost adventure thank you so much oh I guess I still can't go here huh here uh thanks so much Tephius for watching I really appreciate it it was fun fun talking hanging out Something shows in the photo. It looks like twins facing each other. Splinter says, I must also depart. Uh, I have to wake for work in six hours. Thanks so much for watching so late then. Jeez. Burnt, uh, and a book appeared in the burnt remains. Open the doll's eyes and give the shrine maiden a soul. When the two shrine maidens face each other, the bridge to the underground opens up. I've used one of those wind-up clocks imported from the west for the town twin shrine maiden mechanism. Uh, move right doll to 3 o'clock and left doll to 9 o'clock. Okay. Card notes. The doll's soul is needed to make the mechanism work. I could create the other parts again, but I could never duplicate that soul. The soul is the key. I have to keep it safe with me. Okay, so it's... So... Uh, okay. You need to chill out, game. Uh, 
All right. Okay, now I can go through this room. All right, this might... Uh, let me see what I need to do. We're going to use shotgun ammo for this fight. Which is what I presume this is going to be. I pre presume it's going to be a boss fight where I fight the... Yep. Away from me. Oh no. All righty, got a zero shot. a weird fight. <laughs> Damn thing getting in the way of my shutter chance. Are you so close to getting a fatal frame there? frame and power shot. Oh, that was so close. Dang. How did I use... Oh, that's only nine shots of, of Type 61 so far. That's not bad. There we go. He's right here. Something's on the ground where the ghost used to be. Glass eyes. Doll maker note five. First, I have to kill the doll by hanging it. Then I must throw it into the hole. It knows this and is controlling Akane, trying to kill me. I have to throw it in even if seeing the hole blinds me. My daughter must die again, and Akane must relive the pain of losing her sister. If we didn't have this ritual, no one would have to feel that kind of pain. Switch. Allows you to equip the three power-up lenses in one... Oh, at one time. Nice. All right, we've got to be getting closer to the end of the game now that we have stuff like that. Even though I really haven't been using the power-up lenses very much. Oh wow, I have so many points too. I can just I can completely power up the base level. Nice, look at that. And now we can just upgrade the others as we go. Uh before I waste more of this ammo though. Ooh, no, don't want to be on type zero. We'll go to type seven. Try to save some of our, our ammo. Oh, 
Alrighty. Uh, as much as it saddens me to say, I think this is going to be the best stopping point we have for the night. Uh, because I don't know how much longer this game is. <laughs> and if I do split it into two episodes, I would rather them be not drastically different in length. So I think we're about halfway through, if I had to guess. Um, and I think what's going to happen is next time we'll just play through the rest of it. And that will be... I guess Tuesday, probably something like that. Tuesday or maybe Wednesday. Uh, we made it over six hours. So look for, I guess the VOD when it comes out, <laughs> if you want to relive these memories. Uh, I'm sad that I wasn't able to finish the whole game before further confusion, but Hey, uh, anyway, if people are going, I, I doubt I have any viewers that aren't, uh, that are actually going to show up, but, uh, if there are people that view this and are going to be there, uh, say hello to me. I'm more than happy to, to take time out of the day to meet you. Anyway, oh, Ka says, supposedly the game is about 9.5 hours long. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, so right now we're at like six-ish, and granted I've been lost, I'm like completely lost for a very large majority of the time so far. So maybe tack on, you know, another streamer hour or two and we'll get to the end. But, uh... But yeah, hey, thanks so much for watching. This has been a fun little marathon stream. I, I hope you all had a good time, and I will see you at the next stream. Thanks to Apollo and Kettle very much for, for modding the chat. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night. Peace out, everyone.